can definitely hear me now. You can definitely hear me now. Just trying to make sure that this phone is muted. There we go. Hey, sorry about that. I was just having a little bit of an issue with my uh, demo that I wanted to present to you today. And I didn't check my microphone connection before we got started. But I'm very confident you can hear me now. Excellent. Okay, great. I got my chat over here, but I don't need that. <clears throat> All right, let's start again, okay? <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Shopping Dragons is proud to present Clown Live. I'm your host, Dragon Blaker, but you can call me Blake. You can call me whatever you like, but my first name is definitely Blake, and I definitely respond to that, okay? Uh, yo, we're here taking a look at a bunch of great products uh, here on Amazon Live. I've got a whole carousel, so if you're excited to see what we've got going on right below this video, or if you're full screened, uh, I guess it'd be maybe this side. Is it this side? Yeah, it would be this side. There should be a carousel here or a carousel here of items. We're going to show them all to you today, and uh, I need you all to help me big time because I've been running like super long shows, and I'm trying not to do that. I don't have to do a four-hour show. I got to do... I would like to do a two hour show, you know? So I need y'all today to help me keep on task, okay? Once I start looking at a product, just I need you to tell me when it's been about five minutes. But look, I can glance over here. I see uh, you can hear me now and that we do have a voice. Uh, and that's the last message that I've got. Great, look, I'm so glad that I can get it almost at eye level, the camera. I've been making some drastic improvements over here. The tripod is one with the phone on it. I'm loving this. And uh, I think one of the next things that I need to look at into my upgrade game is maybe a lapel mic. So I have a little more table room, I'm not always using the Yeti. Or if I like walk over to this camera, which I don't need to do anymore, walk in front of the OBS bot. As a matter of fact, I can't even walk in front of the OBS bot anymore because <clears throat> I, uh, I have a, the power conf on a tripod. Before, I had it on a tripod on a stool. Actually, I can show you. I can show you. I can show you probably. I can probably show you. Let's see. Let's see. Let us see. Let us see. Okay, check this out. Shortcuts on the OBSBOT. Yes. Okay, check this out. I guess you can only see that. See this right here? That's the power comp. And it's sitting on a... Uh, that's the power comp. And it's sitting on a big tripod right now. So last last show on Tuesday... It was sitting on this tripod, but uh, um, it was also sitting on a stool because I thought I'd have the ability to reach out uh, and grab it and then lift it up and use it like a selfie stick to show you guys, uh, you know, more up close and personal. But after only one episode, it's just kind of like realized that it's really easy and kind of better just to uh, leave it in a nice, tight so it's, it's really wide. The power comp is such a wide camera. I wonder if I should tighten up the view or not because we're really just looking right here. And like all of this, you guys get to see all that on all the other camera angles. So, but I'll tell you another thing before we get today's show started. Let me highlight the first item in my, in my carousel. Uh, we're going to talk about these Govi smart lights in just a second. Um, Govi outdoor string lights. They are smart lights as well. Uh, but before we talk about them, I'm real stoked to just talk about this little setup that I've been building gradually. And uh, yeah, this is it, man. This is it. I got the little table with the phone and the stream deck and I got the keyboard and uh, I'm learning about the OBSBOT. We're not going to feature the OBSBOT in my carousel today, but man, what an awesome camera. Uh, so many great features with the OBSBOT. Okay. Um, I think that's probably enough of, hey, what's up? How's everybody doing? Oh yeah, I do have a couple more things to tend to. And that is, um, let me full screen this for starters. Yo, did you know that we're doing a $5 gift card giveaway? And guess what? The gift card, it's valid on Amazon.com. So if you are interested in partaking in a little game that we're going to play today, oh, I do actually have to transfer over to the, um, to the desk to set the game up. So I will, <laughs> I will uh, struggle with that at the end of the, at the end of the stream. We're going to do that at the end of the show. We're going to pick a, uh, we're going to pick a, uh, a winner for a $5 gift card. So in order to participate in that giveaway, 
All that you have to do is head over to the website that's scrolling across the banner at the bottom of the page. Let me tell you that website right now. It is shoppingdragons.com slash win, okay? And if you head over to that website right now, fill out that form and enter for a chance to win a $5 gift card. Uh, you need to fill out the form so that we can confirm your entry into the giveaway, okay? But at the end of the show, I'm going to set up a little duck race and uh, we'll play a, a clown race and we'll play a clown race to determine the winner. Now, <laughs> excuse me, if you are already entered or you think like, if you're not sure that you're entered, go to the website and enter now. If you're like, Blake, I've been out here. I know about shopping dragons. I know about $5 gift cards. I've already entered. Then you don't need to enter again. We're not resetting the form right now, but maybe after it bulks up a little bit, I'll reconsider that option. But the form has not been purged yet. So if you've already entered, there's no need to enter again. Okay. You're in it to win it. All right. Um, love the lights. Oh, 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 let me enter to win. Oh, James, you know what? Talk to Justin about that one, my friend. But uh, if I had it my way, I'll just send you the five bucks. You know what I'm saying? And still pick a winner because uh, you're so great, James. Welcome to James, everybody. Uh, welcome, James, everybody in the chat. Uh, another fellow dragon blogger. Love you guys out here hanging out with me tonight. Um, so, okay, not worried about that statistic. Let's get into the show. Let's get into the show. This is, like I said just a moment ago, Shopping Dragons. That's what you're watching. And the show that you're consuming right now with your oculars is Clown Live. So um, without further ado, let's just break into it. Today, I've already got uh, highlighted in my carousel for you to see the Govi Smart Outdoor String Lights. Yo, when I saw these lights, um, I knew this had to be the first Govi product that I would own. And I'm so excited to get these set up uh, in the spring, in the spring. So they're still sitting in the box. Um, hmm, can I plug these in? I guess I can plug them in maybe over here. But uh, the, Govi light, the Govi lights are really great. Uh, I have had some experience just plugging them in and trying to shoot some videos for them. Uh, okay, keep me on five minutes. Keep me at five minutes. 13, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8, oh, 14. So 19. At 7, 19, we got to stop with the lights, okay? I don't mind running over two hours, but five minutes per product. When you get the Govi outdoor string lights, uh, what, let me remind myself. Um, IP, 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 what? IP, what? IP, what? IP, what? IP, 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 six, five. IP, six, five weather resistant. So you can leave them outside when it's raining, but they're not like all year. You're going to want to take them down and bring them inside. I don't think that you'd want them to like be outside in the cold uh, if they freeze. Okay, look, look at this box. Look at this box. These are the lights. This is two. 48 foot length. I know I'm holding my string, but here we go. There. This is two 48 foot length um, of outdoor string lights. Look at this. It's a massive, massive, massive uh, thing of lights. So pop this down. And uh, man, I at the very last second, I added this to my carousel, and I don't know how to demo it real quick. Even if I plug it in, even if I plug this in, Oh, before I plug it in, let me talk about this to you real quick, okay? We are on the tight camera. <clears throat> the lights are IP65 weather resistant, like I was just describing, but the plug, no weather resistance, okay? And the uh, the power button for the lights, it has not any weather resistance or it has a lower grade weather resistance than IP65 compared to the shatterproof lights. Uh, let me see if I can plug these in maybe over here probably my best bet these things honestly i've been keeping them in the box because they are a little bit of a nightmare to get out of the box that's it uh or sorry not get out of the box not get out of the box to get back into the box <laughs> boom 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 so they turn on Flash through their little cycle. I don't know why they flash. I guess just to represent that they turn on. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. How can I demo these right now? Let me unplug my phone. And um, we can stay on this scene for a few moments. This is uh, my phone is what's controlling my ability to switch my camera. So we're just going to be stuck here for a quick second. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 19. Man, we got to move fast. We got to move so fast. We got to move so fast. Uh, Govi, 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 Govi. Where's my Govi app? 
Where's my Go V app? Hmm. Do I have it on a different device? Do I have Go V on a different device? I might have my Go V app on a different device if I'm being honest with you. But look how bright these lights are while I'm trying to find this app. Hey, the Go V lights are really great. It's uh it's um 60 60 lights, I believe, across 96 feet. I know it's 96 feet, but I think it's 30 lights per, 15 or 30 lights per string. 15 lights each string for a total of 30 lights across the 96 feet. So they're gapped out pretty pretty well. I mean, I don't, like I said, putting this back in the box is kind of a, not a fun game for me. So let me just pull two apart and show you. That's going to be your gap between each bulb. So I guess I'd say like two and a half feet, not three feet. Uh, and yo, these lights are not just white lights. I, I wish I was a little more prepared for the show. I didn't expect to feature the Gobi lights. I wonder if I, I don't think I have the Gobi app on my iPhone either. Um, yeah, we might have to forego the Gobi app demonstration today. But that doesn't mean that I can't talk about them for another one minute. One more minute on the Gobi Lights, okay? Uh, the Gobi Lights, the app is great. It really unlocks all of the features for the lights. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you can run this in one 48-foot strip, or and it detaches at the 48-foot mark. So the 96 feet is actually two 48-foot lengths of, of 15 lights each. And uh, I stretched these out. And, like, honestly, 100 feet is huge. Let me tell you something. My home, I live in a trailer park, right? I'm living in my trailer park home right now. The length of my house, the length of the trailer park home that I live in from front all the way to the very back of the house, exterior, 70 feet, 70. So I can do the whole front of my house and the whole back of my house. You know what I mean? Um, as outdoor string lights. But that's just for the concept of measurement. We're at uh, about a minute left to talk about Govi lights. And uh, I'm going to keep doing that. But um, uh, yeah, the Govi lights, the app is great. I'm sorry it's taken me forever to get to the point. But the app is truly phenomenal with the Govi lights. And the app is uh, versatile for all different types of Govi lights. Uh, so you can have like your entire Govi environment connected to the app. And through the app, then you can dim the lights. Um, you can brighten and dim the lights. There's in Infinity patterns that you can make with the lights. Each of the bulbs are individually addressable RGB and they offer a nice little hook. You see the hook uh, here where my thumb is shaking? The hook is great to put these on a guide wire uh, so you can really, really illuminate the party uh, or just chill by yourself. Um, like I said a moment ago, each light is individually addressable. So not only can you have fun with the built in patterns. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not only can you have fun with the built-in patterns that are on the Govi lights, but you can make your own patterns. And uh, and then like there's this whole ecosystem and community built around developing amazing uh, light shows for all the different types of Govi products. So if you're into Govi and you haven't bought a, Go a Govi product yet, this is the first Govi product that I've ever purchased. And uh, just like all y'all, I keep trying to win some. I really want to win some more sweet Govi lights. And uh, you know what lights I really want that are out of stock right now is those Govi outdoor permanent lights. I really want to get my hands on some of those uh, just to enjoy them. So these are the Govi lights. I'm sorry I don't have a more better uh, demo for y'all today. I got to get, uh, I just got to get the apps. I just got to get these apps popping off on my phone a little better. Uh, like I said, I just didn't expect to use them today. Why is Obsbot always blurry? Why is Obsbot always blurry? Is it me or is it just that my bit rate on my computer? Like, do I look blurry to you or is it just a StreamYard thing dealing with me? Let me know if I look good or not. Uh, I mean, I know I look good. <laughs> just let me know if I look blurry, okay? But these are the Govi Outdoor String Lights. They're IP65 weather resistant, uh, RGB addressable each light individually and tons of patterns. I'm so stoked to get these set up outside in the spring next year. Boom. I did a few extra minutes on the Govi lights. But that's because I stuttered on the, um, that's because I stuttered on the, uh, 
on the app. I stuttered on the app. I'll get that sorted for the next show. Okay, boom, Gobi lights. Isn't that great? And I see in the chat that Samantha loves the lights. I love them too. Diego says, my uncle has those same lights, but he fell off the ladder when putting the lights on. Listen, you have to be careful. You know what I mean? I don't think that that is going to be a direct result of Govi lights themselves. That's probably just more like a be careful kind of advice. Look at the box is so, look, the box is so hard to get everything back into. It bulges, but they are packed really nice when you first get them. Uh, Govi, Govi, uh, Govi outdoor RGB string lights. Awesome. Okay, let's see what's next on my carousel. Is he okay? I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, Blake, those lights would make a great giveaway list in Boston Butterfly. I bought these lights, and uh, I've got to enjoy them a little bit before I consider giving them away. I don't know if I'm going to consider that. You know what I mean? But it is a great suggestion. Uh, looks like Christmas lights with the lights blurry a little. Good. Yes, thanks. Blake, I can't. Uh, can I post Brittany's link? She needs 13 to hit 2K. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, do that now. Uh, go ahead and share Brittany's thing, and I'll push it out there too. Yo, Brittany on Dream Team Family is, what, 13 followers away from hitting that 2K mark as a very prominent milestone to obtain here on Amazon Live. She's guaranteed going to hit it within the next 24 hours or less. So uh, if you're here now and you haven't been, uh, check out the link that Victoria Diaz has just put in the chat, <clears throat> and go sub up, uh, go sub up Brittany on Dream Team Family. Also, while we're talking about subs, and before we move on to the next product in our carousel, which is the Anchor uh, um, Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, uh, check out Coach Mike too. Me and Coach Mike, we're in a friendly little competition. Tet tat tet. You know what I'm saying? And we're about like we're like within one or two followers of each other for the last like week or so so uh i'm encouraging coach mike uh i'm encouraging excuse me i am encouraging you to follow coach mike um you got to look it up i can't put the link in the chat and uh yeah coach mike ultra dope Brittany, almost about to hit 2k and uh maybe i'll talk about some more people to follow later but for now let me break up the motion room plus And uh, I might forego showing the box on the Motion Boom Plus. Let's do five minutes right now. So let's take me to 7.30 for the Motion Boom Plus. I, you know what I'm realizing? A lot of these things have demos and I need to get another device. <laughs> uh, okay, let's uh, talk about it before we demo it. This is the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. Today, oh, um, oh hey, you know what? Just real quick. Sorry, I just, I want to cover all my bases because it's important to me to uh, for my learning experience. Before we talk about the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, <clears throat> it's important to me to remind you that today you can add the Govi Smart Outdoor String Lights, the 96 feet version, uh, by clicking through our carousel and adding them to your cart. They're only $99.99 today, and they definitely do go on sale and Black Fridays next week. So like, just keep your eye on these. If you don't buy them today, just keep your eye on them, okay? Because something, Something important is going to happen. And I think that important thing is going to be a discount on, on specific Govi products. I have no insider knowledge about it, but, uh, you know, I've been on Amazon, so I think I know, but I don't know. Victoria says copy and paste, hit the follow button, follow her to get to 2K. Yeah, absolutely, Victoria. It's a great idea to follow Brittany on Dream Team Family. Okay, great. Uh, go buy the Gobi Smart Lights if you're so inclined to. I love them, and I can't wait to show you like a better. I want to do an outside show, but it's so cold right now. I can't. I can't go outside. Okay, next product: Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. What an awesome, phenomenal, amazing, great, beautifully aesthetic <clears throat> sound device for you to have a great party or simply enjoy music on your own. The Soundcore is a, a two-piece design. Essentially, oh, I forgot we zoom in. We zoom in here. Let's do head. Uh, Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, really great product. It's got two. It's got two drivers in the middle and two tweeters on each side. And then outside of the speakers is going to be passive bass. So you get passive bass, and there's a lot of air in this thing. Look at the back of it. I mean, uh, behind these two speakers, 
uh, on the back side of the anchor of the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, you're gonna get a spot that is protected with a rubber gasket. Let's drop it down and pop over to a tighter shot. Uh, yeah, so here is where you can. Uh, <laughs> the the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is IP67 weather resistant, and it's extremely buoyant, right? So if you accidentally knock this into the pool or drop it in the lake or wherever, whatever water situation you're, ex excuse me, experiencing, Soundcore's got you covered. This thing is not going to get damaged. Now, one thing that is important about that is this here. You want to make sure that your weather resistant cover, and I, I'm a nail biter and I always need something to open this because I just bite my nails, okay? But uh, if you have a fingernail, it's relatively easy to pop open. And uh, yeah, so inside here, you're going to see uh, a USB-C charging in, uh, USB-A charging out, as well as uh, a headphone jack. Uh, this is as far as I can reach with the... So you can charge your device while using your device, and that's really great. And um, just behind this, just behind this, obviously on the inside of the device is the board. And the board, it ain't much bigger than this. The board isn't much bigger than that, maybe, between my fingers and my thumb. All of it is just a huge, huge, massive, open air inside. Oh, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Are you tracking me now? I don't know. We'll figure it out in a second. Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, really great speaker. Let me um, play some music for you out of it really, really fast. I stopped using it on the daily, but since I've got it a month ago, I still haven't had to charge it yet. And I've still been enjoying it without using the app. And you can download the Anchor Soundcore app. And at, <clears throat> and you can access the uh, you can access um, through the Soundcore app. Where are we at? Through the Soundcore app, you can access the equalizer and a bunch of different presets. I don't have a lot of personal experience with the app, and that's cool because it just goes to show that when you buy the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus out of the box, it just works. It just works. Oh, new look, still YouTube. Okay, thanks YouTube. I don't care about all that. Okay, let's play track real quick, demo this, and then we got one minute. We're done here. We are done. We're done. Um, is my Bluetooth on? No. I wonder if this will auto-connect. I have to hit the Bluetooth button. Sweet. E easy to pair. Easy to pair. The box. Trouble tonight with the fish. Uh, 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 why, 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 why? I don't. There we go. There we go. Oh, Bluetooth is a crazy thing. The Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is loud. It's so loud. And it's clear. It's so clear and it's so loud. And uh, it comes with a really sweet, like, uh, um, uh, man, I can't say words tonight, but it comes with a strap. Look at the strap. This strap. You feel good. You look good. Sound good. Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is Are we still live? Are we still live? Yes, I believe we are still live. Oh, uh, yeah. Soundcore Motion Plus by... Soundcore Motion Boom Plus by Anchor. Great product. And... Uh, Man, am I having some technical issues with my cameras today? My video looks like it's locking up a little bit. I apologize. Uh, okay, let's turn the sound core off. Everything's like crashing around me. I don't know why. Sound core motion boom plus, great speaker. Let's open up my controls for this show. I don't look like I'm frozen up. Everybody's out here. I'm still live. I'm looking at my live preview and it's kind of just like giving me a bit of an issue. I just want to make sure that I'm constantly live. Hitting a few little 
hitting a few little snafus tonight. But um, I I see my live preview. I, I believe I'm still live. Okay. So, yeah, the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus by Anchor is a really great speaker. It's loud. It's clear. Uh, they make other bigger speakers that are a little bit more money. But the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus today is $179.99. Again, it's another product that's absolutely worth uh, considering adding to your cart today because, uh, oh, this is going to probably mess me up, I bet. Oh, no, it shouldn't because I shouldn't be in so sorry my for my technical, technical mix. Snafus. Yeah, of course that, that happened. happened. Okay, okay, guests. Remove, remove this, this guest, please. please. Thank you. And let's jump to... Oh, my goodness. I'm having a bad time tonight. Solo layout, please. Can I get a solo layout on this camera, please? Okay, can I jump wide to know that I'm working? Man, I am feeling frustrated with my presentation to y'all today. I don't mean to have so many little technical snafus in between shots, but let me just wrap up by saying the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus by Anchor is a great addition to any party. It's small. It's lightweight. You can hold it with one hand. You can put it on your body with a strap and wear it and for total hands-free uh, operation. And... Uh, if your friends don't have one, they're going to be like, where did you get that? And you can tell them, Blake from uh, Clown Live on Shopping Dragons told me to get it. And what a smart move. Uh, I should listen to Blake more often. Okay, yo, thank you for helping. Uh, thank you for dealing with me while I get through some of these little illogical snafus that I'm dealing with. But we're going to move on to the next product in my carousel. Uh, three minutes over this product, of course. Okay, let's move fast on the V-Pod. We're going to take a look at the V-Pod wireless. Um, TENS EMS and NMES machine. This is, uh, that's this right here. Boom. Let's cut to this table shot for a change of shot. The Massage Therapy Concepts V-Pod, uh, V-Pod Deluxe is a great product. When you open the thing, the case, you're going to be presented with instruction manuals and acupuncture charts. Everything that you need to get started is going to be here. A warranty card is included. You're going to get two big pads with the v -pod. Uh, you're going to get one when you buy the v pod deluxe you get one big pad and you get two small pads that's what you get i have extra let's set these aside i haven't had to use my big pad yet but um also included in the package is going to be a usb a to uh us uh, it, and then it like splits out it's usb a right and then it splits out into two um, micro, uh, mini USBs, mini first, then micro mini USB to single USB. Why two with the included wall adapter? Because inside the package, each, um, uh, each V pod deluxe is going to come with two pods. That's these right here. I'll just show you one for now. And it's really, really easy to operate. <clears throat> when you use these pods, you just press the button in the middle to turn it on and the light will flash blue indicating that it's waiting to pair to a device. And once you get your device paired uh, through the app, which is super, super easy to do that, all you have to do is just, uh, all you have to do to pair the app is make sure your Bluetooth is turned on, turn the device on. As soon as you turn it on, the app instantly discovers it. And it says, hey, we found this. And you say, okay. And then it says, do you want to pair it? And you say, yeah. Two taps to connect the pods to your phone. And then the pods have these snaps on the back, uh, on the left and right here in between the label. And they easily, easily snap when you line it up onto the V-Pod pad. So you have the pod and the pad connected. You can remove it from its storage plastic uh, piece. I got one on the other side too. And these are pre-gelled, right? So they're really, really easy to stick to your skin. Uh, yeah, here. Super easy to stick to your skin. I'm not going to give a demo. I'm realizing that I got to get another device. I need a device to watch the chat. I need a device to control my cameras. And I need another device to have all these apps on so that we can use all the apps. But like I'm saying... Really easy, pre-gelled pads stick to your skin with no painful adhesion when it comes to peel off. You just take it right off. They're so good. 
and it's so great because these um the v pod is a wireless tens ems and nmes unit so you can have electrical muscle stimulation transcutaneous muscle stimulate electro i don't know tens t e tens elect uh transcutaneous electronic nerve stimulation so you can do electronic muscle stimulation with the ems transcutaneous uh electronic nerve stimulation with the tens side and it has like the nmes but remembering acronyms is hard and look like you can really move with this it's not gonna be like falling off or anything like that and uh like mine i i am moving it a little bit so i have a little bit of a play here but like if i'm just sitting still and enjoying this it works very good you can move with these mine's becoming a little less sticky because i've had it for almost a year uh but even when i'm ready and i haven't done this yet but when i'm ready to have these adhere better to my skin um i can just put a little bit of water like wipe it down with a little bit of moisture to help make the gel adhere a little bit better but don't do that when you're running power through it. When you have the um, VPod app installed on your phone and you're using these devices, it is the best feeling. I put it on my shoulder. It feels so good. I got a bad back. Uh, my wife, Mima, she's got a sore foot and a sore knee, and it's amazing. <clears throat> we'll spend another minute on the VPod because I want to tell you about these other features. You have two pods, one for each pad and when you have the two pods they're two different devices but you can run them both from the same uh you can run them both from the same app device a and device b so you can treat two different areas with two different treatments with this device and app combination I love the VPod Deluxe by Massage Therapy Concepts. It's uh it's $189, but listen, you're going to get two small pads and one large pad as well as the two pods and everything that I said else that comes in the box. And uh listen, every other EMS and TENS machine that I've ever messed with and it's a few. I got a small amount of experience. They're all tiny little pads. They're all tiny little itty bitty little pads. Pads that are generally smaller than the uh than the actual uh pod itself you know these pods are huge and the ems pads that i get on other devices are not even as big as the pod that's what i'm trying to say so you get a lot of coverage with the v pod it's wireless all the other tens ems machines i've ever um had uh interaction with are always wired small pads wired running off of AAA batteries. These are Bluetooth wireless operated. They're rechargeable with the included uh, Y split adapter. Um, it's a great thing. It's a great thing. This one I could definitely talk more than five minutes about. We're at 740. So let's move on from the VPod Deluxe right now. Okay. I love the VPod Deluxe. It's $189. Uh, if you click through the carousel, you can learn a little bit more about it today if you want. I'll clean this up after. And uh, I suggest that you do because if you're into pain relief, VPod is where it's at. And they have the big, the little one, like I showed you on my arm. It looks like a bow tie. Oh, sorry. I don't want that. Thank you. Uh, I showed you the little one on my arm where it looked like a bow tie. I just learned that they're making new circle ones that are like really big, like big circles. And they have one that is for your feet. They have a pad for that you put the pod onto to uh stimulate your feet and they have one that goes across your abs and so these are good if you're in pain they're good if you are doing like a workout and you just need like a little da 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 you know what i mean um 24 different settings electronically stimulate your muscles transcutaneous electronical nerve stimulation and nmes whatever that one is okay boom that's the vpod deluxe uh, let me take a look at the chat and say hi to Bart from four minutes ago. What's up, Bart? Hope you're doing well. Amazon customer says, hi, Blake. I wanted to say hi to Mike, friend, Chris, his homie. I wanted to say hi, Blake, Chris. Hey, Chris, that message was a little bit confusing, but I remember you from the previous show. I hope you're feeling well today, friend, and uh, thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Did you know that you can – hey, Robin Luker, what up, though? Did you all know today that you can go – 
and um, sign up to uh, win a $5 Amazon gift card on this stream. We're going to do it at the end of the stream today. End of the stream today, $5 gift card. Go to shoppingdragons.com slash win to enter. If you've already entered previously, you don't need to enter again. We're not purging the form. And then at the end of the show, we'll do a little clown race and uh, and uh, we'll pick a winner from the clown race. But you have to confirm your entry by going to shoppingdragons.com slash win uh, and do that. So if you've already entered, don't enter again. If you haven't entered, get over there right now and... Uh, you were anonymous the whole time. I didn't see you as anonymous chatting in the chat. Also, uh, I see you out here now, but I'm just saying it's not a big deal to me in this moment. But I just want to let you know, Justin, that on the app and also on my live preview, I don't have the ability to see my audience count today. So I don't know how many people are in the chat watching right now, but it doesn't matter what number of people are watching. I'm so grateful for everybody that is out here showing your support on Shopping Dragons Clown Live. So with that established, let's get into the next package that I wanted, the next product that I want to show you. Uh, I can't see any count, no browser. Let me just refresh a page here on my computer and see if that does a little change for me. Yes. No. Doesn't show for any browser for me today either. You know, Amazon is on one today. Amazon is on one so hardcore today because uh, there are channels that exist that don't aren't showing follow buttons. How uh, how how frustrating as a content creator must it feel? Excuse me for those people today who don't have follow buttons on their channels. Like you feel powerless as a content creator. And even if you message the higher ups or the devs that might take care of it, you know, as a content creator, obviously you want that fixed right away. Like that's your bread and butter, those follows and, and clicking through the carousel is not affected, but I'm just saying like those follows are so important. And not only are they important, but also, like, at least for me personally, the follows are extremely validating. To know that the follower count is increasing with every show that I'm fortunate enough to partake in here on Shopping Dragons, uh, yeah, you know, that's great. But for people that don't have a follow button and want it, and people that host, like, larger giveaways that want you to follow and you can't follow them, ultra frustrating. Ultra frustrating and frustrating for the people that want to follow and enter those giveaways or just show support and follow, you know, for, for no prize. <clears throat> Hopefully Amazon gets that sorted out quick enough. Okay. Next, we're going to take a look at the Exit E 900s as these right here. Yo, okay. Check this out. You know, when you look at a product and you think, oh, well, this one's the 900. And then they also have the 1,000. So the 1,000, oops, the 1,000, it's got to be better. It's got to be better because the number's bigger, right? Listen, it's not always the case. It's not always the case. And uh, I'll tell you this, as far as comfort is concerned, from my own personal opinion, I'm going to tell you that I think these E900s that we're going to look at right now are much more, not phenomenally different, but much more comfortable on the E900s than uh, than the E1000s, okay? The E900s, though, are really small, really affordable at $35.99 today. They come in this really nice uh, faux uh, leather bag. Uh, feels like a pleather, really. And it does say EXA brand. It is EXA branded on the bag. I don't know how well you can see. It's kind of hard to uh, show. I'm trying to focus it by putting my hand behind an opaque bag. But yeah, absolutely extra branded bag. Looks really nice. Included in the box is going to be another Y splitter. One to uh, put this camera into your uh, headphone jack and microphone jack. Uh, but if you want to just use it as a set of headphones, that's cool. Because the tip comes with um, your end is going to be your standard headphone jack. Now this one's got a piece of plastic covering it. But it's just your standard three and a half millimeter headphone jack. So if you just want to use it in any device, it's good to go. Uh, dude, these things are really, really comfortable. Before I put them on, I just want to show you the uh, the headband. 
The headband has a really spongy, really cushiony and comfortable feeling, impressively comfortable um, headband cushion. You know what I mean? It's awesome. Okay, let's take a look at what I look like wearing these. Not wide. Let's do a little tighter shot. Uh, so also they have the part that's purple. It's made of metal. Um, the part that attaches the headband to the ear cup, the purple piece, it is made out of metal. And that's awesome because I had an old pair of um, headphones and the part that connected the headband to the cup was made of plastic and they did last for a while, but eventually that broke. So I'm thinking like metal stronger than plastic, right? It's got to be better. Okay, yo, check this out. Let me put these on for you real quick. Yeah, these are so comfortable. They're really easy to adjust like any pair of headphones, but they, they just don't have this pinching. They don't they don't pinch. Uh, okay, let's do one of these ears. This is I O. Yeah, yeah. They look great on me. Like, I know that I already look good, but I feel like I look even better when I got the Exa E900s on me. Uh, they're really, really great. They fit good. They're very symmetrical. The cups are clearly marked left and right on the inside. So if you have to go to the to uh, replace them, easy to do that. Uh, it's going to have an inline um, mute and a potentiometer for volume so you can control everything that you need to if you're using the microphone uh, or not <clears throat> you can control the volume in line it's always a benefit when you have so much control over your products now i've been using a pair of epos headphones for a while and uh, i've been looking for a reason to use these for like an entire week and do a little comparison uh, i love my epos so much i'm like oh, i don't want to switch i don't want to switch but it's not because I think the EXA is of um, lesser quality, potentially. I just, I really love the EPOS. So, you know, when you find something that you like, you're kind of reluctant to want to change. Um, I'm not reluctant to want to change my EPOS headphones. I'm excited to use the EXA headphones. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that uh, I think that these are good. And I haven't had an opportunity to hear them yet. That's why I'm telling you this. So, uh, really great, really soft cushion on these headphones. Um, they're connected with a thin wire from the headband to, to, uh, to the cup. So <clears throat> just be cautious of that. It is a little bit of a thinner wire, but for $35.99, amazing, uh, amazing, uh, amazing value to hear what you need to hear. And they come in a variety of colors. I know that they don't just come in purple. I know that the E900s are also offered in at least a red colorway as well. So that's it for the E900s. I'm excited to get back to you with uh, more information about these from a personal uh, standpoint, you know what I mean? So that we can have a better understanding of how they sound, how they operate, and uh, if they're totally worth the $36. But I mean, listen, for $36, bucks, you are going to get really comfortable headphones that don't pinch your ears, inline volume and mic mute, three and a half millimeter jack, a carrying bag. And one final thing that I neglected to mention so far is that it does have an included microphone and it has a proprietary way to insert itself into the ear cup, but it's not like, um, it's not mechanical. It's just like a piece of plastic. I know it's kind of hard to tell. I got to get it even closer camera. You know what? I can just do whatever I want. I can just do whatever I want. Last time I checked, this was my show. So let's just do that for a little bit, see how that plays out. I don't need to show the entire table. I don't need to show the entire table. Good. Okay, so check this out. Three and a half millimeter jack uh, on your microphone that has a proprietary plastic. See how it's got that flat edge at the top of my thumb? It's going to plug in extremely easily right into the cup of the headphone just like that, and then uh, easy to remove if you don't want to use it. But there's no cover for this. So it's either exposed or it's not. And uh, it's just a hard piece of plastic that helps drive it into place. And yeah, they, they feel good. They look good. The XA E900s. Where's the audio coming from? Why is there audio coming out of my phone? Hey, that's the E900s. Let me jump back here. 
can go here and pop out down to the table. Take me to the wide shot, please. Thank you very kindly. Okay, uh, why is this so loud, man? My phone like never stays on mute. And then it's like, oh, your in call? I can turn my in call volume down to just a little bit, media, all the way down. Thank you. I don't think I can hear myself now. Excellent. Okay, so these are the E900s, and let me just move on from these right now. Uh, I'm going to agree everybody that started following right after I put these Exa E1000s on the table. And you know what? We'll leave the E900s out for a minute because I really want you to see them. I want you to see what's going on here. Wide shot, table shot. Thank you for the table shot. Um, don't mind the power conf in the way. Okay, what are we looking at next? The E1000s? Yeah, boy. Okay, the Exit E1000s are even cheaper than the E900s, and uh, they're also available in on Amazon today. I just want to show you both of these at the same time, um, just for quick comparison. Okay, E900, let's put you over here. Let's put you over here, and then uh, we'll take the bag and set it back here, and we'll open the E1000s. Let's try to do five minutes, five, six, seven. Let's go to 57. Uh, let's do we can do three minutes we can do three minutes on these let's do 56 let's go to 756 on these because they're literally they're literally the same thing they're literally the same thing they are exa headphones these are the e1000s uh there are a few differences but you'll see that they come with the same branded uh embossed branded exa bag the faux leather bag and uh <clears throat> What is different about the E900s compared to the 1000s is that the 1000s, they're a little bit more of like a gaming setup. You know what I mean? They make it easy to plug the E1000s into any console, including your PC, because instead of having a three and a half millimeter jack on it, like the E900 does, you're going to get a USB jack. You're going to get the USB jack. And then also you'll have a different looking uh, inline uh um controls for your volume volume on the top and then a mute mic on the bottom so really really great uh and also look at how look at this cushioning look at look how thick that cushioning is okay i can't believe it i got the epos look let me show you my epos real quick These are my EPOS headphones, and uh, look, there's just no cushioning. There's none. There's none. None. But these are really comfortable headphones nonetheless, my EPOS headphones. But compared to the Exa E1000 and the E900, like, there's just – it's it's a world of difference. It's a complete 180. Okay, let me put these on, and then I'm going to greet everybody that just joined us, okay? So the E1000s, look, here's how I feel about the E1000s. When I put these on compared to the E900s here, these feel like they're putting out, uh, like they're offering even more of a noise isolation. I feel like I'm talking a little bit louder to hear myself. These feel like noise canceling. They just, these feel like noise canceling. We got one more minute left on them. But uh, look, the E900s, ow. Yeah, they, oh, I got it on backwards, but... Like these, these, uh, yeah, these are letting some audio through, but they're not open back. They're not open. They're just, I don't know. They, uh, the E1000s, do I have them? Yeah, highlighted. E1000s are great. And check it out on the side here. I'm not plugging these in for the demo today. I've got some other things to figure out in the future regarding that. But the E1000s, they have a ring around uh, the cup. And all that white plastic ring around the cup that you see, it's all RGB, rainbow, swirling, changing lights. And uh, and I like that a lot. Um, I like that a lot. Uh, so it's got a nice kind of textured top on the E1000s, not like on the E900s that are just branded EXA. And also one other thing that I want to tell you about these uh, headphones is that uh, like my... Like my EPOS headphones, these are push your thing up, your microphone to mute. Uh, also, the microphone seems to be permanently attached to the E1000s. Like, I can't pull it, and like, it's definitely affixed. You're not pulling this microphone off. Um, so, if you don't want to use it, 
then you just put it straight up and uh yeah i'll do the thing where we do the zoom so are you tracking me again i don't want tracking excuse me for a second while i disable tracking hit my headshot and then just zoom in a little bit more here Yeah, look, they look great. Uh, let me go up a little bit. I don't need to duck. They look really good. I love, like I keep repeating, the cushioning. Look at when I push these down, look at how they push back up. I mean, nobody's pushing down, but that, I'm just saying, like, these are designed for all-day comfort. Um, but I got to tell you, from my own personal, personal experience right here, right now, I find that these E1000s, they don't pinch and they don't hurt. They just offer like a more secure cupping to your cranium. Like it, it squeezes you tighter, but not in a painful way. And, and with that, you really get that like uh, blockage of sound, you know? So the XA E1000s, they are going to be um, offering you a 7.1 surround sound experience. Well, the X uh, E900s are just stereo, I believe. I believe they are only stereo headphones. PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch. So they, they're advertising the E900s to be for gaming. And they're advertising the E1000s to be for PC laptop. But I know that you can plug these into any USB um, uh, port on any console. And they're going to work just the same. So that's the exit E1000s. And that's what I got to say about that okay so we just did two products and i appreciate y'all for listening to me about that today okay it's the e1000s get the bag and these are the e900s and the exit 1000s they're cheaper than the e900s today you can click through and add these to your cart uh for 31.99 so you get a couple dollars less than what the e1000s are worth and I'm excited to get back to you with more information regarding the quality of the audio. I did listen to the E1000s the other day, but only for like two or three minutes, like two half songs. And they sounded pretty good. They sounded pretty good, but I didn't put them through like my own personal experience of music that I like to listen to. So I like a lot. I like stuff with a lot of bass. I like stuff that has a lot of high fidelity. You know, there's not much music that I don't like to listen to. So uh, I'm going to re really be able to get a, an acute sense of how well both of these sound. And I'm excited to share them with you. Now, one thing that I want to say about the Exit E1000 USB gaming headset is that I'm not a gamer. I'm a gamer. So it comes to testing 7.1 surround. I'm just going to mount with like some. I don't think that I have the ability to test gaming because I PlayStation 4, but I haven't used it in, probably I haven't turned my PlayStation 4 on in well over a year. Probably the last time I used my PlayStation would have been last summer. All right. Yo, did you know that we got some new followers? They came up probably like 10 minutes ago. Uh, yo, Lou started following us, Karen Ann, and Robin Luker started following Sheila B 10 minutes ago saying, hey, Victoria Diaz says, let's get uh, Brittany up to uh, 2K. Does she get any new followers yet? Is she less than 13 away now from uh, the 2K that she's trying to get? I guess you guys don't really have the ability to see her follower count. And I guess we kind of have to rely on just what she says. So I don't know how the public can see follower counts. Our follower count always has to be like checked through the iPhone app through the Amazon live app. And uh, let's see, we went from 77, 17, excuse me, 1,300, 77 followers today when we started the show. Refresh that, 1,379. Okay, so shout out to the two, to the three that followed. And um, sorry to see the other one go. Thought we would have been at 1,380 when I checked just now. But uh, hey, you know what? We're on that road to 2K, just like everybody else is striving to reach that milestone. And I'm really excited to uh, have the opportunity to experience that with y'all. So appreciate everybody that has followed today. Keep considering hitting follow. And if you are a new follower and still watching right now, then go to the website here that is uh, scrolling along the bottom of your screen, shoppingdragons.com slash win, 
enter for a chance to win a $5 gift card. Excuse me, at the end of today's show. You have to enter the form, and then we're going to do a clown race at the end, okay? All right, let's move on to the next product in my carousel. Ooh, another EXA product. Sweet. We're going to do this one real fast. This is going to be the EXA Telcom Environmental Noise Canceling Wireless Headset. It's going to be model H1. And uh, this is another product that is like something that seems really useful if it is what like if it's it's going to be if it is designed for you, you're going to really enjoy it. Uh, the EXA, the EXA environmental noise canceling wireless headset model H1 does come with a really nice soft bag, just like the other EXA products. This is um, comes with a bag like EXA products, but this is not a faux leather bag. It's very soft, almost like a microfiber texture bag. It's going to have the name uh, printed on the front of it, Exa Telcom. Now, what is great about the uh, H1 is that it's basically advertised to be designed for truckers. So uh, you're going to have one cup. You're going to have one cup and one spot that has a nice, soft, uh, rubber-feeling, textured uh, uh, headrest. Like, it's a part that rests on your head. And the cup, it, it twists, so you can wear it down, like, kind of, when I say wear it down, like, you can turn the cup out and sort of wear it around your neck. Uh, that's what I do when I have gaming headsets that have cups that rotate. But also what is great about the uh, the, tel the H1 is that it does offer 270 degrees of rotation on the microphone. So if you're wearing it uh, with the cup on your left side, your microphone is going to be just positioned perfectly in front of your mouth. And then if you want to wear your cup on your right side, the 270 degree motion of the microphone allows you to really just wear this in the most extremely comfortable way possible, uh, no matter what you're trying to, no matter which way you're wearing it, you know what I'm saying? So uh, when we put it on, it feels really light and that's because as it is, there's a whole open ear. Let me put it on my left side because I feel a little more comfortable on my left side. But yeah, really simple to do that bi-directional switch. I did it in about a second. You just switch your mic over and turn it around. Really great. It's going to have two volume buttons uh, on the cup and also uh, another button for pairing, I assume. I haven't had an opportunity to put this device through its paces yet. I was sent this product for review, but I keep showcasing it on the show the last two days, like the last two streams. So I'm really excited to get this one out into the uh, field and check it out. The uh, Exa Telcom H1 uh, is a great product if you're a trucker because <clears throat> you can leave your device. Maybe you have your device strapped into your truck in your rig and you don't want to uh, take it out to utilize it. You can just, with a Bluetooth connection, pair this device to your phone and leave that device stationary in your rig, for example. And then you can walk with this all the way to the back of the rig. Uh, you're not going to get interference with this. This is what is advertised on the site. <clears throat> you're not going to get interference, and you're going to be able to go all the way to the back of your truck and be able to hear very clearly. Now, this this cup, it is like noise canceling. So even though it's open ear by design on one side as it's a single cup, when you wear this cup, it's going to wrap around your ear. And, like, you're going to really it, – it, it's – it's really just going to excel at blocking noise and aid in the facilitation of, of like, excuse me for stammering again. It will facilitate a clear call with its noise canceling um, cup. Now, also, it boasts like a little algorithm that is designed to like this product is. I don't know if it's an algorithm, excuse me, but this product is designed to take all that traffic noise, all that heavy traffic noise and everything and purge it uh, so that you're going to get a clear call and the microphone is not going to be pulling in a lot of highway noise if you're on the side of the road or anything like that. <clears throat> That's what it's advertised to do. And I'm excited to go pull out onto the side of the highway and test that. And so I will, but I don't know when. It's cold outside now. I don't like going outside in the cold. I don't like it and I don't want to do it. But hey, the uh, Exa, the Exa H1 um, environmental noise canceling wireless headset uh, is seventy-one dollars and nine cents today. You can click through the carousel if you want to learn a little more about this, or add it to your cart. 
Uh, but that 7109 discount is actually 21% off from the regular priced $89.99. So this is not a, uh, does this come with a Bluetooth thing? Where's a Bluetooth adapter in here? Oh my gosh, you know what? I never opened this. Let's stay on the product for another second. Maybe there's a little bit more that we can look at here. Look, in the box, you're going to get a USB to USB charging cable as well as uh, the device uh, instruction manual and I guess uh, some warning manual. But look, look at the... Am I... Okay, am I missing something here? Look at this. I didn't even realize that this headband piece also turned for maximum comfortability. But hey, yo, look at this with me. Look at this product with me in the carousel right now. Does it look like it has a little Bluetooth adapter? Does it look like it has a Bluetooth adapter? Because I see a USB charging port. I see a USB charging port. I see the up and down buttons and the and the likely the pairing button here, but in my box, in my box, I only have the wire. I only have the wire. So I don't know if there's a Bluetooth dongle that is included with this product or not. Uh, I'm gonna learn about that, but I'm gonna make the assumption that there is not because I don't have one with my package, okay? Uh, let's do a wide shot. Uh, but that's the Exa Telcom H1 environmental noise canceling wireless headset. Uh, if you got somebody in your life that's making money driving truck, maybe this is going to be the right gift for them. It's definitely worth your due diligence. You know what I mean? To check that out and learn if so. But uh, so far, so satisfied with this product's aesthetic, the way that it looks. And I'm certainly, certainly looking forward to getting the opportunity to explain to you more in depth about its functionality, specifically its sound quality. That's really, really important because, you know, you get a lot of crappy microphones. You get a lot of, uh, you get a lot of crappy microphones. You get a lot of like bad sounding Bluetooth stuff, but for the price point that this is being offered at and So just the fact that it is advertising as being environmental noise canceling wireless headset, I'm hoping the quality of the microphone is excellent. And like I said several times, I'm excited to share that with you in the future. This is the Exa Telcom H1. Okay, copy and paste. Yeah, definitely follow. Victoria seven minutes ago saying probably hi to Rosalinda. Appreciate y'all coming out and hanging out with me today, even if it's not the most active. Uh, chat today but going next uh up excuse me up next in my carousel i'm very excited to share with you uh the eufy by anchor home vac h30 and uh i guess i can pull the box down i will pull the box down i will pull the box down wide shot yeah okay let me pull this box down it just takes me a quick second here because i've got this water boy up here Okay, hold on. Let's turn this off. Open this. It's a little lighter. Oh my goodness gracious, right now. Here, we're going to skip the box today. We're going to skip the box today because I'm feeling frustrated about this, um, about this water device. Let me try again, though. I guess I just had to move the vacuum. That was probably my best bet. Boom. Boom. There we go. This is the Eufy by Anchor H30 Home Vac. What a great portable vacuum that you can use to keep your things clean, pristine, easy to handle, so lightweight, one-handed operation. It's going to have an eco mode. It's going to have a max mode or... Um, Man, I keep forgetting what the Pascal rating of the vacuum is. You know, I don't look at any product pages when I talk to y'all about these products. And I'm trying really diligently to remember everything about every product. But some things I just brain fart on. But it does say on the box that it's up to 80 AW. And I know that uh, Justin was sharing with me what the Pascal rating was for the suction of the H of the home vac uh, H30 by Eufy. But either way, whatever the suction 
power is by number, it don't even matter. All that you need to know is that it is powerful suction. Whether you're using it in the eco mode or in the in the max mode, it has this power head. Uh, check this out. Okay, let's move this over here, I suppose. Uh, look at this power head. I'm going to turn my vacuum on in, in eco mode. So it's really good. Really good little vacuum is going to do what you need it to do. You know, I don't hold this and it's not sucking up the uh, power head's not sucking it up. You know what I mean? It's not bunching up and clenching it. Uh, and uh, that was in eco mode. You can put this in max mode. It's an extremely, extremely light, uh, light to hold one hand operation. Wrong button. Let's go up here. One handed operation. I, I like doing this with it when I show it to you just to show you how light it is. To pull the power head off, you just pull it off. There's no buttons to press. To remove the dust bin, you just press the button on the front of the device and pull the dust bin off. It really easily uh, attaches to your, the dust bin attaches to the vacuum very easily by this big plastic guide. So when you are done dumping it out, you can just put it back on. Whoops, I didn't put my guide on. That's why I had a little problem there. Let me hold this more securely with my hand like this and put my track, line it up, push it in. Easy to click into place when you put the track on easily. Uh, also, inside the dust can, you're going to have your filter. Let's jump down here, I guess. You're going to have your filter down here, and the filter is a quarter turn to pull it off, and you can wash this really easily. Uh, it says washable right on it uh, here. There we go. It says washable right on it. Easy to clean. Easy to reassemble. Just line up the front of the device. There's a there's a spot here by my finger, and one down at around seven eight o'clock on the device. So uh, we just line up our filter. Sorry, I got to look. Yeah, just so line up your filter. Easily push it in, and then turn it a quarter turn to lock it into place. And now your filter's not going to come out. Very very easy. Like I said, line up your dust pan on your track and push it into place. Easy to lock into place. Awesome. <clears throat> the Eufy at the Eufy home vac H30 today is $179.99. It has about a 20 minute runtime on a full charge. And this base here that is included with it is the charging base. It plugs right into the wall. I've got the plug over here. And uh, also it offers an extension attachment. Oh, we're <laughs> it also offers an extension attachment which simply just plugs into your device. Also, it has this brush brush attachment. Uh, brush goes on, brush goes on. Look at this. So the brush, the brush doesn't go on. It doesn't go on. You have to use, excuse me, the extension to put the brush on. But once you put the brush on, it just pushes in and clicks into place. And you can press the button to retract it or pull it forward and lock it into place in both spots. So it's locked at the front. You can push the button and then it stays locked at the back as well. And then just push the button to bring it forward. So you can brush, you can brush the dirt, agitate your surface, and then pull this brush back and really get off the ground what you pulled up. Um, so with the power head, it's really great to keep this. Oh, and then also the extension really easily plugs in. The brush doesn't plug in, but the extension plugs in just by, oh, whoops, there we go. Just by force, just by force, really easy, really easy to pull it in and out, right? Okay, so that's the Eufy Home Vac. Bang, leave that there, and then we'll jump back over here. Yes, yeah, um, no, no, wide shot, wide shot. So yeah, that's the Eufy by Anchor Home Vac H30. Really lightweight, really easy to use. You're gonna get about 20 minutes of runtime out of it. Eco mode, max mode, removable dust pan, easy to clean. What more do you want? What more do you want out of a power vacuum? You know what I mean? Definitely, if you would like to learn more information about the Eufy by Anchor H30 Home Vac, click through our carousel, add it to your cart, read about it, and definitely makes a great, great addition to your cleaning arsenal at Home. Boom. That's the Eufy anchor back. Okay. What do we got next in the carousel? 
Uh, April started following. April, what's up? Thank you so much for that follow. We're getting so, so close to reaching the next milestone of 100 followers. We're going to hit 1,400 followers in about in about 20 followers. I think we're like 23 to 25 followers away from hitting that goal. So uh, thank you, April, for following us. If you're a new follower here and you're not re-following, then don't forget to check out the website. Scrolling at the bottom of the screen, Shopping Dragons dot com slash win and enter for your chance to win a five dollar amazon gift card that we're going to be issuing uh at the end of the show we're going to give it to you at the end of the show we're gonna have a fun little clown race on stream but you have to go and register uh by filling out the form at shoppingdragons.com slash win boom 817 okay let's move on to the next thing this one's easy because i don't have a lot to show this is the anchor power comp c200 it is a webcam and what are you looking at right now you're looking at the box okay for the camera but the camera itself is actually being used you're looking at the quality of the camera in real time right now i'm using this anchor power comp c200 to show you this is it this is it right here let me cut to my obs bot okay and uh let me oh man yeah we could do whatever we want i'm gonna walk over here for a second and show you this uh no i'm not no i'm not that was a bad idea i just got some short cables i need some longer cables let me cut back to this though and set my shot back up There we go. Uh, yeah, so the Anchor PowerConf C200, great camera. Now I can jump back to my OBSBOT real quick and uh, and show you this. But, uh, yeah, let's go down and let's zoom in with the OBSBOT. And uh, let's go up a little bit. So this is the back of the OBSBOT. I can spin it around for a moment. But yeah, okay, so this isn't so bad. So the OBSBOT, uh, excuse me, the Anchor PowerConf C200 is a really nice little webcam. It's got three different uh, fields of view, which range from 65 to 95 degrees. I have this attached to a tripod, which is great because the included permanent mounting bracket on this camera is, uh, is having that quarter inch threaded uh, for any tripod, it's universal. So the camera pans up and down right all the way back and all the way forward it does have a little like uh grip can you see can you see how like i'm lifting this whole camera with its tripod on this little grip very powerful strong grip and then the back of this here is going to mount onto your tv it's got a little texture on it and it just sits on your tv it doesn't mount on the tv it just sits there you know what i mean and it, it, it's a really really awesome camera one other feature that I don't want to feature to you right now is this little switch on the top of the camera. You can open and close this switch for uh, to activate sleep mode with the camera, which is great for protecting your privacy. Let's jump back to this camera so I can set my shot back up. Sometimes I can be a little anal about the, how it looks. But yeah, so the, uh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it looks okay. So the, anchors, the Anchor PowerConf C200 is a great webcam. It offers you 2K resolution at 30 frames a second. It offers a field of view ranging between 65 and, uh, is it 65? 65 to 95 degrees field of vision or field of view. Um, 2K resolution, 30 frames a second. It's got a privacy mode so that you can close the lens and it'll put the camera to sleep when that lens is closed. The, mic the camera also has two microphones built into it. So I believe that that means that you can get some stereo kind of uh, sound out of that uh, if you need it. Boom, let's go to the table layout and let's go wide. <clears throat> hey, yo, did you all see my new Dragon Blogger shirt? I got a green one now. I got some other colors that I'm going to show you um, on another stream another day. But, yo, I got the black one and I got the green one. I got other one I'm going to show later. I'm real excited about that. 
Justin, if you're here watching the show right now, I would be so grateful if you could put the merch link in the chat for me. That's just a link that I don't have, but uh, there's all kinds of Dragon Blogger and Shopping Dragon merch that you can get to represent uh, your favorite Amazon live streams, okay? So check that out. Uh, if we get the link in the chat, that's great. And so this is the Anchor PowerConf C200. It's 60 bucks today at $59.99 with a 14% off deal uh, from $69.99. It's regular price. I really, really like this camera a lot. Um, I've been using it for maybe two weeks and it serves its purpose in a most excellent way. So if you're looking for an affordable um, 2K resolution web camera that has stereo microphones in it, quarter inch thread for mounting it to any tripod, um, and uh, has a great, great image, consider clicking through the carousel and check you out um, the Anchor PowerConf C200. Debbie, Debbie, hey, Debbie. Hey, Debbie, look, we're going to take a look at the Tribit Home uh wireless home radio right now uh look hey debbie check this out this lucky heart is for you i mean i don't have anything to give you other than this lucky heart you can have this one you have this one you can have this one this is my favorite one this lucky heart this lucky heart is for you debbie and literally just a second ago uh we were talking about how you can protect your privacy with the Anchor PowerConf C200. Did you know, Debbie, that this camera has a little switch on it that you can shut? You can close the shutter on the camera and then it puts the camera to sleep. So it will mute your microphones and it will stop showing your webcam. So muting your microphone and stopping your webcam from displaying, that's double layer protection for your privacy. And you can get that with the Anchor PowerConf C200. Thank you, Debbie, for coming and hanging out with us. It must be like 8.30 in the morning where you're at, I think. So I'm so grateful for you to wake up early and come and hang out with us. And Debbie, listen, if you haven't known yet, at the bottom of the screen here, you can go to this website, shoppingdragons.com uh, slash win, and you can enter to win a $5 gift card. We're going to do a clown race. You're doing emoji races. We're going to have a fun clown race today at the end of this stream. Uh, Debbie, I'm so happy that you came to join us. Please give Lucky Heart a big hug for me today. And uh, I can't wait to see you on your next stream. Uh, and also, Debbie, if you like, please put your link to We Allure uh, in the chat so that the people that might not be following have the great advantage of having a direct link to you, Debbie, because I've got one and I love it. Best streamer on Amazon Live. Go check out Debbie at We Allure. Um, every night, women's underwear. If you like women's underwear, go hang out with Debbie. I'm there every day, okay? All right, that's enough of that. Let's talk about the next, um, let's talk about the next product that I've got in my carousel, which is gonna be the Tribit Home Wireless Home Speaker. Did this turn off? Oh, I turned it off. I turned it off. Uh, okay, box, bang. What else do we got? The actual device itself? Okay, bang, boom. Uh, let's cut to the camera and show the speaker. This is the Tribit Home Wireless Home Speaker. Now, the thing about this speaker is that it's not actually wireless. Uh, you have to plug it in in order to have it function. And uh, I guess I'll give you a quick demo because I did take the things out for easy access today. Close this like that. Uh, that's what it looks like. We'll pull out to a wider shot in a minute. Okay, Tribit Home. Tribit Home Wireless Home Speaker. Great little product. Can I plug this in over here? Hmm. Where can I plug this in? Let's unplug this for now and this, and we have to plug them back in. We have to plug those back in at the end of this demo. Thank you so much, my best friend. Debbie, we are best friends. Debbie, we're more than best friends. Whatever's more than best friends, but <laughs> uh, whatever's more than best friends, that's what we are, Debbie. I think about you every day. Every day you're on my mind, Debbie. Yo, but did you know, Debbie, that the Tribe uh, Home wireless home speaker has so many different ways to connect to it? I think that's why they call it wireless because with the Tribe at Home, <clears throat> you can... Uh, 
we got to get through all these things and then hit a source, source, source. Yeah, we'll just leave it on auxiliary for a second. Debbie, did you know that with the Tribit Home wireless home speaker, you can connect your phone to this via Bluetooth? Also, on the back of the device, that it has a memory card slot reader. So you can put a micro SD card in here with all your uh, music that you love written on it uh, right here. And then the, this is uh, an input. So if you don't have, if you don't have Bluetooth um, source, if you don't have Bluetooth to connect to the device, that's okay because it's got a hard line to put right in, uh, it's got a headphone jack, three and a half millimeter headphone jack. You can hardwire your device right to the Tribit Home wireless home speaker. What do we do? We do this. Okay, we need a little more talk. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so you can connect Bluetooth to this. You can plug your cord of, you can cord it. You can put a memory card into it. It has an FM transmitter and there is an FM antenna. That's what this little wire is included in the box. So you can turn the radio around and just plug this into your uh, line in jack. Excuse me. And now it makes for a powerful FM uh, antenna. Uh, so we can skip the source to mm. FM radio. And then we can find a source. Yeah. yeah. It goes really loud. The volume controls range from like zero, like mute. Oh, let's go like this. What is table shot? Oh, that's a, that's a nice shot. Yeah, we can leave it like this. Back, back. So yeah, it has a really loud uh, FM radio in it and the volume controls. I'm not a big fan of country music, I'll say, but this is loud. This is loud. Look at this. This is so loud and it has this strobing light on it. I'll talk about it when I'm not yelling. So loud. This is so loud that holding it in my hand, the bass from the country the bass from the country music is rattling this device in my hand. So very, very loud, very loud. Um, it's got three different color options on it as far as the light is concerned. Right now we're looking at the strobing rainbow light. And I know that my cameras don't do the best um, at showing the light, but you can see a little bit the rainbow light perhaps. Uh, and it has a light button right on it. So it's easy to switch the lights. You can turn the light off. You can press the light button again to show a nice solid white light and uh, you can toggle through it for two other settings. One is this setting here that also looks like a white light, but I, I assure you that it is a scrolling rainbow light. I need to understand how I can show you these a lot better. Because I just can't get the color to, to show properly. But after the white light and the rainbow light, there also is a uh, strobing rainbow light, okay? So you can have a lot of different effects. It is an alarm clock, so you can set your time here. Um, and finally, in addition to the Tribit uh, wireless, the Tribit home, wireless home radio. Oh, wrong camera, I'm silly. I think y'all can still hear me. Dude, let me tell you something. Suddenly, I'm hot in my house, and I'm dripping sweat. I'm dripping sweat. I should have plugged in my fan before I did the show. But the uh, the Tribit Home Wireless Home Speaker is a great product. It's $69.99 today in my carousel. You can click through to get a little more information if you like or add it to your cart. It makes a great gift, and um, it has uh, white noise settings. It has a white noise setting. So it's got built-in sounds to help you sleep. White noise. Yeah. But my favorite one is uh, the bird. White noise, seashores, light music, rain sounds. Rain sounds are cool too. It's nothing wrong with a little light jazz and the sound of rain pounding against your window. There's something so comforting about that, that bass and that piano and the pitter-patter of water hitting the house. It's a very refreshing, relaxing thing. Uh, but one more, one more. It's got the birds. I love the birds. Don't ask me why. I just do a lot. A lot. I love the birds. Okay. So uh, 
Okay, so that's the TriBit wireless home speaker. Now, this is what I'm going to do, okay? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch this over to... We're going to leave the TriBit wireless home, uh, the TriBit home wireless home speaker on. And I'm going to walk away right now, okay? I have to. Oh, did I press the button? These buttons... These buttons are so tactile that they're, you just touch them and they work. You don't even have to click them in order to make them work. But listen, this is what we're going to do right now, okay? Dragon Blogger Nate just now started following. What up, Dragon Blogger Nate? Good to see you. I see Charlotte started following. I see Evan four minutes ago saying what's up. Debbie five minutes ago saying what's up. So uh, that's been five minutes on the tri -bit. Look, I am a sweaty boy okay i'm gonna leave the tribe at home wireless home speaker playing this light music and i'm gonna go grab my fan and plug it in so please exercise just a minute of patience with me while i attempt to cool down and then we're gonna get into some more products okay so i will be back in just a minute go enter the giveaway Okay, sorry about that. I was definitely, definitely sweating a minute there. Yo, this music repeated like instantly. And I don't know. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer. Let me put this fan back. Okay, I'm back for real. I'm back for real. I had to get my fans situated. We're done with the Tribit Home Wireless Home Speaker. Thank you, White Noise. Uh, I mean, uh, light music. Yo, the light music repeated in just like a few seconds, you know? I thought it was going to be like a minute, but it was like a 30-second thing. Huh. Okay, I'm feeling a lot cooler now. Uh, he unfollowed and refollowed to test the follow button issue. People are reporting. Some people are not seeing the follow button on mobile. I'm not seeing the follow button on Chrome for some, for some shows, but I've got my follow button. I see that very clearly here. Robin Luker one minute ago. Hey, dragon blogger, Nate, welcome. Char Otti. No, I'm just playing as Charlotte. I can see that. Okay. That's the tribe at home. Wireless home speaker. It is 69 99. Click through the carousel, add it to your cart, makes a great gift. I've got a couple of these in stock, and uh, I'm definitely excited to give a couple of them out to people who are definitely excited to, I think that they're going to be excited to receive it as a Christmas gift. I can't predict the future, okay? But, uh, oh, yeah, what, I put my hands up, Obsbot? Thanks. Let's just go to this wide shot. Okay, that's the Tribit Home Wireless Home Speaker. Let's put this bad boy away and move on to the next product okay i want to move a little faster on some of these products now <clears throat> let's leave this here plugged in oh that's right i got to plug my other stuff in very important okay that should be good that should be good Next product, doorbell. Yo, we're going to take a look at the Eufy Security 1080p grade resolution uh, doorbell. <clears throat> this is another product that I'm pretty stoked to get hooked up uh, at my house. and uh, But I'm always showing it to you guys. So once I get it installed, I have no products to show. So I think I just want to build up a carousel of physical items here in the house before I do some installation of these great 
um, Eufy security products. <clears throat> Eufy security doorbell, really, really, really simple device. You're going to have a 1080p doorbell. It's going to have a button on it. It's going to have a camera on it. It's going to offer, I believe, a two-way voice. Is there a two-way voice with this? I'm sure there is. It's a IP6, it's IP65 weather resistant. It has 120 day battery life. Uh, it offers human detection and you can connect it to Google so that you want to uh, see what's going on. You can connect it to Google, uh, you know, and say, hey, Google, show me my front door. You know what I mean? And that'll help you with that. You can connect this to the Eufy security app. You can uh, run this on its own. Uh, let me say that again. You can run this with the Eufy security app, and I believe that you can also hook this device up to the um, Homebase 3. I don't know about Homebase 2, but since it's a 1080p camera, I assume that you can. Uh, I certainly have not taken the time to know which devices are and are not compatible with Eufy Homebase products, but I do know that several of them are not compatible with Homebase 3, but they are expecting to uh, have that. Um, oh man, let's just try to do this. They should have some non-supported Eufy products supported by Homebase 3 uh, in December, 2022 um, and moving forward into the new year as well. So it's gonna come with a wireless doorbell. This chime is gonna, this is the doorbell. This is the chime. It has a sync button on the top of it. It has antennas so that you can make sure that you're getting a good connection between, excuse me, between your doorbell and your uh, chime. Uh, and the chime has a plug on the back. I don't have mine plugged in, but it's right here in this box. Inside the Eufy box, you're going to get all of the mounting hardware that you need, as well as a little tool that you can put into this hole down here by my finger and then that, that's actually the shape of the tool. This is the shape of the tool. Next to my finger is the hole that you put the tool in. And what is that going to do? It's actually going to release it from this bracket that I have locked in place and, um, and allow you to pull the doorbell out and charge it. Now, it does have 120-day uh, battery life. So really long battery life. You're not going to have to charge it too much. But like I just said, when your doorbell is mounted in your, when it's mounted and you need to charge it, you just take your key and you stick it into the hole and then it's going to allow the base to easily remove. Now, this is not, I'm trying to do it with two hands while not secure to a thing. I'm trying to do it with two hands here. Uh, I was trying to do it with one hand actually. But yeah, once you release it, you get a little gap in there. It's easy just to pull this out. It comes right off, comes right off. Comes right off. Uh, so this is the part that stays mounted to your. So this is the part that stays mounted to the wall. And then it's a great bracket to snap your uh, doorbell into. It has two little guides at the top and a small one at the uh, bottom uh, here. Here. See? And yeah, well, this side up, really easy to put it in. If this is your wall, take your doorbell, slot it into the top and push it down clicks right into place, and it's a really solid connection. It's not much else to say about this doorbell. Uh, there are several different Eufy doorbell products that exist, so maybe if uh, you're looking into that, do your due diligence. But I'm telling you that for 100 bucks, a.k.a. $99.99, you can get a Eufy security battery-operated 1080p doorbell today for you. Buy it for somebody else. Christmas is coming. You know, I can't push um the generosity of christmas gifts enough so if you have some loved ones in your life spend a little money on them this year get them a get them a doorbell <laughs> get your loved ones a doorbell okay <laughs> okay that's the eufy security 1080p doorbell uh it's got everything you need right in the box you don't have to buy anything else and what else is really great about these eufy products is that you buy them and then they're good to go you don't need to pay any monthly fees to keep operating them or monitoring them. There's no fees with Eufy. Oops, uh, well, that one's staying on the floor until the end of the show. Okay, let's jump back here. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's do this and let's do this. 
Um, okay, let's move on to the next product in my carousel, and that's going to be the Quintus USB charging station. This is another device that I can unplug really quickly. It's a huge help to me here in the house. Ever since I won this product, I've been constantly using it. It has two, three, five. We're at five. It offers five different charging ports. Let me pull this out right now and show you. I got to plug it back in, though, because it is like an integral part to the show. <laughs> I'm using it to run the show right now. Okay. Bang, bang. So this is the Quintus uh, Smart PD Charging Station in Telesense. I'm literally just reading the box. But on the box, you get, uh, on the device, you're going to get two USB-C charging ports, one for phone and laptop and the other one for tablet. And all these things, all these ports, they put out different uh, – different power. So uh, I'll read that to you on the box here in just a second. But like I'm repeating, you get two USB ports at the top. You're going to get a, a charging station for like a power station for your tablet. And then this braided cord is for my phone. And this black cord goes to my iPhone. So two good ports for charging your phones, charging your tablets, really just like providing USB-C power. I've used the Quintus uh, charger here in the past. I've used the Quintus charger here in the past to demo uh, the Logitech Lytra Glow. You just plug a USB-C cable right into here and uh, get that power that you need to run those lights uh, or pretty much anything, I guess, that you need to run. Now, the two top USB-C ports are going to be pushing out at max. As low as, as at minimum, it's going to push out five volts and three amps. And at max, it's going to push out 20 volts and 3.25 amps. Hey, Woolrich, what up? I see you in the chat uh, just now. You're like the first message that I've seen come in to me in real time. I'm so always just talking to the camera and not always looking at the chat. But I hope you're doing well, bro. Did you enter the uh, gift card giveaway? If you didn't, get that website. And yo, if you already have entered the gift card giveaway, for today's show or in the past, uh, you don't need to enter again. You just have to make sure that you are entered. We don't purge the form. I'm the only one here on uh, Shopping Dragons, so we don't need to reset it like they do on uh, Dragon Blogger all the time. But yeah, for USB-C port one at the top, it's going to push out a max of 20 volts at 25 amps and as low as 5 volts at 3 amps. So you can literally charge anything. And then, uh, and then the USB-C2, that's going to offer you 20 volts at one and a half amps at 30 watts max. And uh, the USB-C1, sorry, that's going to offer you a, a, an output of 65 watts max. Now, for the three USB, uh, for the three USB ports on it, the, the USB-1 is going to push out uh, 20 volts at one and a half amps, 30 watts max. And then the two bottom ones are going to be five volts, two amps out. 10 watts max. So you're charging your phones with the two bottom USB ports. You're charging your tablet with the top port, like the top, the center USB port, the top USB-A port, and then two USB ports, uh, USB-C ports to really get charged what you need charged. Since I've had this in the house, it's been phenomenal. And honestly, without this, I don't even know that I could do the show. I would be seeking another power port to run the iPhone and my cell phone at all times. Okay, one other quick thing that I want to tell you about the Quintus Smart Charger is that it does come with this base station. And here inside the base station, there is like, can you sort of see? Can I don't know how to show you. I don't know how to show you, but there is like here, like right at my finger here, there's just little, there it goes, just a little nub, just a tiny nub. It's barely anything. And there's four of them inside this, inside this. Uh, and it's designed to hold it vertically, as you might, might have seen just a moment ago. Uh, you can just put it on the table like this, uh, but putting it in the base helps it stand up. And then you can put your phones in here. I don't have a phone to easily demo. <laughs> Everything is all very precise. You can put your phone in here. It holds it up while you're charging it. So that's nice. Um, but one thing that I don't like, one thing that I don't like about the Quintus uh, Smart Charger is only the stand. Look, it just slides. It just slides everywhere. It's so easy. The only reason it's not sliding back is because my cable's holding it in place. But like, this is like a credit card. You know, it don't, it's made to be stationary. 
you know, and you don't want to put any tautness on it because I feel like it's going to rip it right out. There's nothing that grips that tightly at all. But beyond that, beyond that one thing, uh, I've been extremely, extremely satisfied with the Quintus Smart Charger. And I think that you might be too. Oh, you're tracking me again? Thanks, buddy. Oh, you're blurry again? Thanks, buddy. Uh, this is the Quintus Smart Charger. It's going to offer you five ports. That's literally going to charge anything that you need. If you put it on your desktop, you can have an extra USB-C port to just push power out to a device that only needs power. This is not a USB hub, okay? It's only a charger. It doesn't run data. Uh, that's it. That's it for the Quintus. I got to get this boy plugged in, even though these things will last a little bit longer. I just feel very secure having everything hardwired to my, uh, to my, I just feel secure having, having everything hardwired. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So everything seems to be good here. I hope y'all are having a good time hanging out with me here on, uh, shopping dragons, you know, clown live is a great show and I'm still finding my groove out here. Uh, I got 10 minutes left and I think I have more than 10 minutes of products. Let's try to do the shortest amount. Look, here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? I just want to be good at this and do what I need to do and talk about what I need to talk about. But I can talk and talk and talk. So now let's start looking at some products in my carousel and let's just go through them as fast as I can. I'm going to try not to spend a lot of time on these because I know that it's supposed to be, I My goal is five minutes of product and I'm never achieving that never achieving it so let's move on to the next product in my carousel and let's just go as fast as we can about it okay the next product actually i do have set up over here and this is a little oh, oh i'm not supposed to step that way i'm gonna trip okay this is gonna be the pluggable let's leave it plugged in okay bang bang this is the pluggable usb magnifier now unfortunately today i really can't show you a demo because it's been crashing my computer but uh this is a really great great device i bought this a couple years ago and uh and i stay using it often and uh what do i use it for most frequently well we grow plants here we do like horticulture stuff in our spare time like as a very small hobby and so uh it's really great to have this pluggable 250 times zoom digital micro. It's not a microscope. It's a magnifier. And, uh, um, I use it to look up really close at my plants, make sure that the health of the plants is an excellent, you know, while I make sure that my plants are staying healthy, good to see microscopic bugs, maybe not microscopic, but with a 250 times zoom, you can really, really see up close what you need to see. Now, let me take this off really quick and show you. Forgive that it looks a little bit unclean. I use it very often. It is my tool. But uh, you're going to get this plastic board included with it. Uh, you're going to get centimeters measurement on one side and inches measurement on the other side if you need that thing. Um, and also this grid pattern, every square on this grid is gonna be five by five uh, millimeters in length. The entire board has a great texture to it to help like keep a little bit of a grip, but in one particular spot, there we go. In one spot, you, uh, there we, there's the light reflection. There, see that, excuse me, excuse me. I feel a little hungry. My stomach is bubbling a little bit. It's making me a little gassy. Uh, yo, but the, uh, the plastic thing here, uh, the table for the pluggable USB microscope, it's got this smooth spot. It's got a really smooth spot on it, you can see. And uh, it's really easy to attach this to that spot. You just make sure that these, uh, make sure that the hook or the lever for the suction cup is in the up position. And then you put it on your, on your plate and then press this down. And it makes great adhesion to the plate. It's really good. I mean, you could break it off, but like, look, like I'm holding it at the base. And I don't want to break my plate. That's how good the suction cup is. And to remove the suction, you just lift it up. And then there's a little tab here on the back. 
you just let a little air under there, easily removes it. Now, if you're so inclined to want to see a demo of this uh, pluggable USB microscope, I did a demo of it on Tuesday and we were taking a look at some coins and man, this thing is really just like the bee's knees of simple magnification. You buy it, you open it, you plug it in and it just works. Now it does basically just operate like a webcam because it is USB powered. So uh, it is, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. It is USB powered, so it does just act like a webcam. Uh, you know what? I am going to zoom back in on it because as I did that, I realized there's a few things. You're going to have a light ring here. And that light ring, the light ring that is shot, this is just a plastic shroud, but there's LED lights that are under this. And they get very, very bright. And you can control the intensity of these lights with this little potentiometer at the top. What looks like a white line is actually just going to be how you uh, dim and brighten your light. Okay. Also the gray band here, it spins, right? This is your focus. Now the pluggable doesn't offer autofocus because they, it doesn't know what you're looking at. So with a great, great sensitivity to vary your focus with the microscope, uh, with the magnifier is a huge benefit. To fine tune what you want to see because maybe i have something at this height and maybe i want to focus at it on the top and then i can just turn my focus knob and um and focus like at something a little bit lower now i use a small when i want to test this uh like when i want to use the pluggable at my house i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use uh I'm going to use a small free program that I download on my PC. It's called AMCAP, A-M-C-A-P. And uh, I use AMCAP for all webcam testing. It's just a simple little thing that you can open up. Oh, will you track me again? Come on, Hobbsbot. I got to disable those gesture controls. Um, AMCAP's great. Great to test your webcams. I use AMCAP to look at my, to look at my uh, pluggable. Now, I haven't researched everything on the pluggable. So I don't really know what the resolution is on the camera, but whatever the resolution is, like I said, it does offer up to 250 times magnification. And uh, let me show you a couple more quick things here about the pluggable before we move on to it. I know I wanted to go quick, but look, you have a touch sensitive photo button. So you can look at what you need to look at and then just tap the button. It's as simple as that tap uh to take a picture and then wherever the pictures go i don't know you got to set that up on your computer but really awesome um it's got a you can unscrew it let me take this off you can unscrew it from the base and it's got your standard quarter inch so again you can mount this to a tripod or to literally anything that you want to mount it to this gooseneck is pretty sufficient for me you know i can bend this gooseneck in almost any any way that i want and uh, the gooseneck also does pull off of the suction cup base. So you really are left with a lot of options on how you want to. Let me just go like this. Okay. You really are left with a lot of options on how you want to mount the camera uh, uh, and utilize it. But like I said, I've been extremely satisfied for checking plant samples and looking for bugs just on this plate uh, with this camera. And I've never had a problem with lighting coming out of the ring light. It's always been bright enough to focus on what I need it to focus on. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, I know that uh, I know that Justin has or is getting a pluggable microscope so that he can have uh, Mrs. Dragon Blogger better showcase uh, some of the jewelry that she has on her show, which I think is a great, great thing. Uh, to I never would have considered that, you know, like I don't. Oh, I need to look at the facets of these jewels. I would never do that because I don't look at jewelry like that. So really, like you can use it for horticulture. You can use it for looking at jewelry. You can, you know, I did a demo on Tuesday on right here on Shopping Dragons that was showing uh, coins, you know, so you can really, really see what you need to see. Great focus, great ability to focus, uh, bright ring light. It's a great, great pluggable USB I keep wanting to say microscope. That's why I brain farted there. Magnifier. You don't see cells, so it's not a microscope, okay? It's just a magnifier. 
Uh, and you can get that today for $31.95 down from $60. Bucks. Listen, that's 47% off. If you've been looking for a magnifier, I've stayed steady using this for years now. And I love this product and it's a great product. And the only way that I will ever replace this is when it breaks and it's a workhorse. I don't see it breaking anytime soon. So for 32 bucks, basically 47% off, that's almost half off. You can't beat a better deal than that. Honestly, you can't beat a better deal than that. So go check out. Can you tell me about the lace chips you have on your thumbnail? What are they like? Hey, Eric, I'll talk about the lace chips in just a second because i've been thinking the same thing about them <laughs> i'll show you i'll show you the thumbnails in a minute uh yeah so the pluggable us the pluggable usb digital magnifier 3195 click through the carousel add that to your cart you don't need to be looking at gems or plants or whatever you could buy this for a kid you know it's just plug and play good to go um i'm really really satisfied with my purchase and uh a hey, pluggable, if you're out there watching and you want me to uh, show another one, I mean, this is a workhorse, but if you got something new out there that I should know about, let me know. I'm your boy. I'm your boy to talk about it. Uh, laughing about the chips. Yeah, absolutely. Where are we at here? We're on the headshot. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll take a quick break and talk about the chips. I'll show the chips too here. I can do that. I can do that from here. Is this chips? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Eric, I don't know what that is. I never looked at chips in my, I've never even seen a bag of chips. What is chips? What is, I don't know what this is, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, they, I had, uh, I don't know if I can speak in such an, uh, in such a way, but I can tell you that my team, like I'm on a team of people, sounds very possessive, I suppose. But it's not. It's just the reality. So it feels really fun to say my team, a.k.a. Justin. It was Justin. You know what I mean? But uh, no no, no uh, lesser value there. I reached out to my team. Actually, my team reached out to me, a.k.a. Justin. And uh, they, he, was like, hey, we're going to uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to make you some thumbnails for your shows. And I was like, okay, great. Save me some time. Now I don't have to make thumbnails for my own shows. And uh, yeah, we'll show we'll show one more time. <laughs> this is the, the thumbnail I got with the chips. Hey, uh, what did I do with that microphone? I have a blue snowball, but I actually don't. I had one and I lent it. I, I borrowed it from my cousin and then I lent it to my other cousin. And, uh, you know, relationships come and go. Sadly, I, I'm not talking with my cousin right now, but so he still has it. But yeah, definitely got a. I got a silver, I got a silver snowball instead of that black boy right on my forearm there. And look also in this thing, I really, really want an OBSBOT AI me. That's the me, right? And that, that is the me, right? And the meat is the smaller square one. I want the OBSBOT me so bad. Uh, I think that it could really, really facilitate uh, easier Content creation outdoors, outdoor content creation with a camera that follows you. That is something that like I've never had. So uh, OBSBOT inside, very cool. Are you tracking me again? No. OBSBOT inside, very cool. OBSBOT outside, man, do I want to try that out. So uh, yeah, thank you for asking about the chips, Eric. Uh, definitely, obviously, I've had Lay's potato chips in the past. And uh, what, what is your, everybody in the chat? Hey, I got a viewer count. We got 16 people watching. What up, everybody? Man, that's the first time I see my viewer count all day. Appreciate that. Uh, 16 people, 17. That's my favorite number, 17. Um, 17 people out here watching. Thank you for joining us. If you haven't entered the gift card giveaway, look at the bottom of the screen, go to the website, enter to win. And we're gonna draw a winner real soon here on the show. Eric, were you here when he showed the quarter under that microscope? It's a neat microscope for the price. Yeah, for 32 bucks, you get 250 times digital zoom. It's the best. It's the best. Uh, can't. It's the best pluggable USB microscope uh, magnifier I've ever used. And uh, I will get more shows to show you this camera. You know what? Hold on a second. How many more products do we got left? One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. 
I got eight more products to cover. Okay, okay. We're going to skip the pluggable demo today. But uh, hopefully, hopefully, I'll get the kinks worked out and I'll be able to have a better demo for you. If y'all were here watching the demo with the micro, with the magnifier on Tuesday, you'll know it kind of like dragged my whole stream down. And I was really frustrated by that. So no demo for the pluggable today. But 250 times Zoom is, uh, is really great. It's really awesome. So... Uh, uh, okay, let's move on to the next product. Oh, it's Lytra Glow. I guess I didn't pull Lytra Glow out. I forgot to pull Lytra Glow out today. I'm sorry. Where are you at? Lytra Glow. Lytra Glow. Lytra Glow. <clears throat> sorry about that. We're going to take a look at the Logitech Lytra Glow right now. I just went and grabbed it from my box of stuff it's highlighted in my carousel hey Alyssa, what's up hey Alyssa, were you here to see the pluggable um usb magnifier demo on tuesday when we were looking at the coins can't wait to be able to feature how the pluggable functions again and if everybody loves looking at things up close i've looked at all kinds of things cool things maybe gross things i looked at my earwax one time under the uh microscope under the magnifier and it's just like honestly maybe it's kind of a gross thing but you don't look at that up close very often um also like for plants uh, okay hold on for the pluggable for plants plants uh i've had little pests on my on my plants and the level of detail that you can see like fruit flies i've put fruit flies on that table and looked at them and there's just a level of detail of fruit flies that I never even knew existed before. So, um, yeah, pluggable, pluggable, super dope. Go get you one. Great gift, great practical device to just have around your house. If you need to see something up close, we were looking at some simple stuff like the head of a ballpoint pen. So you can really, really like just look at whatever you want. It's a camera that makes things big. You know what I'm saying? Really cool. Really cool. I think I caught some of it. Wasn't it a Canadian coin? Yeah, we looked at some Jamaican coins. We looked at some American coins. And we were also looking at some Canadian coins as well. Uh, that's it. Okay, let's move on to Lytra Glow. I've reselected it in my carousel for you today to enjoy with me here now. Look at this. Let me grab one more thing. This one. And pop this down here. Bang. Bang. So the Logitech Lytra Glow. Really, really fun product here that... Uh, that I've been, uh, here's the reality. I've been demoing this product a lot, but I haven't put it to practical use a lot because I've got these big studio lights and whatnot. So uh, everything's just been very well lit. And I have a huge, huge monitor in front of my face. Like, uh, look at my TV. Look at my TV. Can we go like this? Oh, hold on. Uh, excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, this way. Oh, wrong. Jeez, Louise. So there we go. Look at how big my monitor is on my desk, right? So when I uh, when I sit in front of my monitor, it's usually pretty bright. It's usually pretty bright, so I don't necessarily need a um, a key light on my face when I'm sitting in front of my desk working because I have such bright lights on me. But this. Logitech Lytra Glow is so much more than a desktop key light, okay? Uh, it, it doesn't run on batteries. It does not run on batteries. So let's get our Quintus set up here. Oh, careful, Exa. Oh, let's, uh, let's unplug everything. Here, <clears throat> let me plug my Quintus in on its own. And uh, what do I want to do with the Quintus? I want to put it right here for now. Okay, great. Sorry about all that. Okay, so check it out with the uh, with the Logitech Lytra Glow. It's a really great key light. It fits in the palm of your hand, and it's super light because it's not battery operated. On the back of it, you're gonna have really really simple controls for this light, okay? 
You're going to have your power button in the middle, and then you're going to have your warmth level um, on one side with your intensity controls on the other side. Now, it runs very simply off a USB-C port, as you can see here. Okay. And the, lab, the buttons are really clearly marked, as you can see, like you have your up and down and you have your temperature setting with your power. Let's plug this. In. Oh, shoot. I just spilled my water. Gosh, darn it. Well, at least nothing got damaged. You know what I learned? Don't put the water on the demo desk anymore. That's a dangerous thing. Let's just cut back out here for a quick second. Let's just cut back out here for a quick second. I'm going to drink this water. Set this cup over here. Man, I spilled so much water on the floor. I got to grab a towel. I have to grab a towel. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh, the water's everywhere. That's so much water. Uh, hopefully I'm not demoing too much other stuff that can get wet. Man, I feel frustrated today. Sorry about that water spill, a little technical snafu, but that ain't going to stop us from keeping this show going. Lull. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Bart. <laughs> Appreciate you with the lull, homie. That's good. But hey, just getting back into it and trying not to be too wrecked by it. The Logitech Lighter Glow is a really great light. It's, it's not battery operated. It does require USB-C power. And before I spilled my, uh, my water on the desk, I was just talking about how... Uh, you have to have it plugged in. That's why I brought the Quintus over here. Let's plug our light in. Let's cut to a tighter shot. Boom. So I got it plugged into my Quintus here. And then with this USB wet, with this very wet USB-C cable. It's not wet there. It's not wet on the back. Look, it's real easy to plug in USB-C style. Bang, we plug it in. And then we press the power button and it turns on. Now with the, Log with the Logitech... Uh, Lytra Glow. Let me drive this box off on my shirt. <clears throat> With the Logitech Lytra Glow, you're going to get five different temperature settings and five different intensity settings for each temperature. So uh, at the coldest setting, the whitest setting, uh, at its lowest setting, this is what you see here. And then uh, just like demoing this really quickly, look, we get five different intensity settings. Here we go. This is setting one, two, three, four, five. Uh, why did it turn off? I don't know. I don't know. Turn it back on. Turn the settings all the way up. So we're pulling the power that we need out of the device, uh, out of the Quintus. Uh, really great. And then it has temperature settings. So uh, right now we're at the coldest setting at blue, but we can go one, two, three, four, five. And I think that it might be a little bit difficult for these colors to translate, but like I think that my hand looks a little bit yellow. Let's turn the intensity up. You can really see that that is certainly a yellow light on my hand. And let's check out the white light. So, yeah, it really does carry over in the camera well, uh, the different the different uh, warmths of light and the different intensities of light. So what what is that? Five things at five settings, 25 different settings for the Lytra Glow. Now, one a couple other quick things about the Lytra Glow is that it does come with this included stand. I've removed my light from the stand for demonstration purposes. But it's a simple quarter inch here, and uh, and um, the the hook on the front that attaches to your monitor is extendable, so you can really put this where you need it to. And the base is also extremely extendable as well, so you can mount the light on any TV or any monitor or anywhere that you need. And what I really like about it is that it does have that. I'm going to turn it off and unplug it for a second. But what I really like about it, I love that quarter inch, you know, for the uh, for the for the tripod stuff. Like anything that has that universal mount is just so so great to me. It just makes it so much versatile instead of being stuck with a uh, proprietary. I think it just turns off because it's plugged into the Quintus. I don't have that problem when I have it plugged into the computer. Logitech, bang. 
Ultra uh, Lytra Glow. The Logitech Lytra Glow today with its 25 individual settings, five settings for five different light temperatures is available today for $55.99. That's 7% off down from $59.99 uh, here on Amazon.com. So feel compelled, okay, to click through the carousel, get some more information about this, add it to your cart. And uh, it's going to make a great gift for anybody that is into content creation. If you just need to light things up around your monitor a little more. And like, look, uh, what I, again, love about it is that it has that tripod um, mount to it, right? So this is great to put on a selfie stick. You can mount this light. Like, uh, let me let me see if I got one more piece of hardware. Like, it's just screwing onto a thing. But let me show, let me show you. I don't even know if I have that part easily accessible. I got so, oh, here it is. It is easily accessible. Okay. Um, this one comes off. This one pokes up. Yeah, this one's proprietary. This one's actually a little more proprietary. And so I guess I got to grab my light as well. But uh, um, look, I'm just going to show you the demo physically instead of going and grabbing the other part because I'm spending too much time on a light. But uh, yeah, so we go like this. And then we get this to mount just like that. Boom. So I got one of these. Uh, I got one of these uh, for my camera. I got a, I got a point and shoot camera. It's really versatile. I don't know if this is uh, even on Amazon or not, but uh, it's got a, it's got a slot to mount. And look, this is all I'm trying to say, okay, that you can put the light on top of it. Let me really roughly demo this in for you real quick because I'm doing all this work. But uh, when removed from the tripod that I have it on, it sits right on my thing. So you can, you can use this as a light for filming. But again, it's not battery operated. So if you do have it attached to something like this, like you will need an accessory to grab power to operate the light. That's all I'm trying to tell you, but it looks great. It's really functional. It's ultra lightweight. It's not going to weigh your arms down. If you're using a, a bar like this uh, for filming anything. <clears throat> and that's the Logitech Lytra glow. Okay. Let's cut back to me here. Thank you. CZ says I'm chugging down so much goat milk. I'm chugging down so much goat milk. <laughs> What's your favorite milk? Um, I like, uh, I like fat in my milk, so I like heavy, homogenized, 3.25% milk. Some people like 1% and 2% milk. I just find that it's very watery, and that's not my preferred. I don't like it. I, I'll drink it. I don't hate it, but I like that fatty milk. I like my 3.25% homogenized milk. That's what I grew up on as a kid, so that's what I tend to veer toward as an adult when I want cow's milk now we're just talking about general milks i like coconut milks i like um i like cashew milk uh they make a uh they make a soy milk that has coconut in it which is like no sugar added and so sweet uh so i like i like soy milks that have like coconut flavors in them i like cashew milks i like all kinds of different types of milks and previously like as a kid and before all this milk boom you know I'm always just eating my breakfast cereals or my fun cereal with uh, with like homogenized milk, right? But now I'm eating Rice Krispies with cashew milk, I'm eating Frosted Flakes with uh, with coconut soy milk. Like they're so good. It adds a whole nother level of flavor to the food. Anyway, that's the Lytra Glow. And uh, I like oat milk best. Yeah, almond milk. Almond milk is uh, also a really good soy milks and almond milks. Both of those at my local grocer have that coconut flavor added to it. So maybe I just like coconut, you know, but the soy milk and the almond milk are both super, super delicious. Um, hey, Justin, maybe maybe we can get like a milk press over here and I can just start doing demos of pressing nuts. Would you guys, would you guys like to see me press some nuts on shopping dragons? Let me know. Maybe we can do a demo like that someday, but this is the Lytra go glow by Logitech. Like I said, a moment ago, it is available today for 55 99. Oh no. Nikita just got the nut presser. Uh, that's okay. I got a nut presser at home. Her name's Mima. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I love my wife so much. She's great. 
but uh, it requires soybeans even to make almond milk. Yeah, usually I just do the thing where you like, instead of pressing them, I just blend them and then run it through the cheesecloth because I don't have a press. Uh, also, I don't make my own nut milk very often uh, as a result of that. Uh, next time one comes in. Okay, thanks, Justin. I, I will. I'll, I'll start making nut milk. <laughs> you know, you want me to milk these nuts? Send me the device and I got you covered. Okay, but once again, and in summation, that is the Lytra Glow, an excellent product that is a key light. It's handheld. It's ultra light. It's not battery operated. No, I'm not doing the signal. Uh, it's not battery operated. So if you need it to be portable, get you an external battery. Hey, maybe I should get an external battery so that I can demo that too with the light. That would be really cool, man. Okay, enough of Lytra Glow. Let's uh, turn this off, unplug it, put it back here. Let's uh, move Quintus out of the way. See, look, did you see that? Did you see how I just lifted the Quintus? Look, here's the Quintus. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this. Where are we at? Show me this. Yeah, okay, look. Look at the Quintus. Look, it's in, look, it just fought. Well, now it didn't. Of course it didn't now. Of course it didn't now. There, look, at the back when it's not maybe centered, it falls out. At the front, a little bit of a tighter grip at the front, huh? A little bit of a tighter grip at the front, but at the back, it ain't holding nothing. It ain't holding nothing. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Oh, and I got to plug these other things back in. That's very important. All right, dope, cool, great, grand, wonderful. We did it. We looked at the Lytra Glow. It's available today for, uh, what I say, $55.99. It's on sale. Great small handheld key light that isn't handheld. You can mount it anywhere you want because it's so versatile. Up next, we're going to take a look at this dash cam by uh, Sun Tong, I believe it's called. And uh, this is a one-minute review. This is a one-minute review right here, right now. Oh my gosh, look at the all this water mess. Oh man, maybe I'll just keep this on the table for now. Jeez Louise. Okay, uh, this is the S Tong dash cam. Uh, I, I'm still learning all about it. So we're really just going to take a look at what you get in the box and then we're going to move on. But with the S Tong dash cam, you're going to get the dash cam itself uh, in the box. Also, you're going to get a, a suction cup to mount it to your windshield. You're also going to get what I call the lighter adapter or your car's auxiliary power adapter, as well as a USB to mic, uh, uh, micro, mini, micro, mi mini USB. Mini USB is the small one. Micro is the even smaller one. Micro USB, mini, mini USB, man, oh man. Mini USB, suction cup, power adapter, and the device itself. Not only do you get the device itself, the S-Tong reverse camera, but when you buy it, it does come with an included 32 gig uh, micro SD card. And uh, here, let me hold it a little more better. And it is branded S Tong on it. I don't know if we're going to be able to see all that. There we go. So it says S Tong on it. It is, it is a 32 gig card. And uh, yeah, it comes included with the device, which I think is really great because I don't always see devices including with their own cards. Okay. This is, I know, going to be a continuous loop. It's, oh, oh, come on. Hello. I don't understand cameras, man. Let me just cut back to my own thing. Maybe it'll fix itself. Tie it up. Okay, yo, so uh, the S-Tong um, camera, what do they call it? Driving video recorder dash camera driving video recorder dash cam whatever you want to call it this thing's light and weight you're going to get your sensor you're going to get your monitor on the back of it you're going to get uh, on the side of it where the sd card slot is located you're going to have uh, a selection button as well as um, menu buttons you have a power button you have a charging port a slot to put the uh the suction cup as well as every time i turn this on the battery's completely dead in this right now every time i turn it on there's a little light here. See that? See that oval light next to the sensor? It uh, It's always on. So I got to turn this thing on and learn about it. Um, but it's got everything that you're going to need in a box to start monitoring. And uh, these are great for insurance claims. 
I've never had a dash cam and I've been in a couple of accidents. So I'm really excited to get this one um, popping off in the truck and test it out. My wife's been doing a lot of driving in the truck this week to work. And once again, I'm demoing the physical uh, object on the show. So, uh, so uh, I haven't had an opportunity to put it in the vehicle and utilize it to its maximum efficiency as of yet. But again, I'm really excited to demo these products for you when I have the opportunity to. Uh, and, 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 and in summation, also included in the box, you're going to get a little cloth to keep your lens clean, a micro SD to USB adapter. And then they give you like a, a push tool. I don't know what, I don't know why. I really don't know why. Why do they give you a push tool with the... Uh, Justin, do you know why they give you a push tool, like a little nudging tool that I would pull apart an iPhone screen? What is this for? Why is this in the box? Whoops, I'll pick that up later. <laughs> I'll pick it up now. I'll pick it up now. But what is this tool for in the box? I never understood. Never understood. Uh, also, you're going to get some instructions in the box and everything you need to get uh, monitoring your driving. And uh, one thing that I did learn about this is that it does have like a continuous playback. So once it hits the end of the card, it's just going to go back to the beginning of the card again and uh, and just keep recording. So the uh, the S tongue, let me just push this back in a little roughly. The S tongue uh, dash cam, what do they call it? Driving video recorder is available today on Amazon at a markdown discount of 10%. It's $44.99 today. So 45 bucks marked down from a traditional 50 bucks, AKA $49.99. So if you're looking for an easy, simple dash cam, I think that this is probably going to be a good, good jump off point, 45 bucks. Um, and like I said, just like with the Govi lights, I'm really looking forward to getting out in the field and testing all these things and bringing you some firsthand experiences uh, regarding these products. But for now, that's all that I want to tell you about the driving camera. What do we got next? Oh, this is also a quick one. Okay. Up next, we're going to take a look at my wife's Kindle HD 10 tablet, Fire HD 10 tablet. This is the 10.1 inch version. You can get these. This is 74. Oh, they're already on 50% off right now. They're on 50% off right now. I just got this for 50% off in October at Early Access Prime deals. Remember that? That was so awesome. That's where I got those Govi lights too. I got these Govi lights at Prime Access on a real good steal. They were like 30% off or something when I got them. But yo, the Kindle 10, pretty good tablet. I don't have, again, a lot of personal experience with this tablet. I bought this for my wife. She stays logged into it. As soon as I got her this, she put down her phone. She put down her phone and she started using the tablet. And she's been very satisfied with it. Uh, now, as some people may be aware, the thing about the Fire HD 10 tablet is, is it does kind of have some restrictions on it. It is an Amazon device and uh, it is an Amazon device. So it, it is locked down a little bit, but... Uh, it has your camera at the top. It's going to have power button to turn on, obviously. Volume controls on the side. It's going to have a camera in the back as well. And uh, it's all Amazon. So since it's a tablet made by Amazon, it's a little bit locked down. It's a little bit locked down with its features. But uh, the only thing that my wife has not been able to enjoy with this tablet so far with the way that she utilizes tablets is we did not sideload um, Google Play into this, the Google Play Store. So we never put like Snapchat on it. I never put an official YouTube app on this yet. But my wife is not a lot of uh, YouTube video consumption. She's more into like social media like Instagram and Snapchat and um, Facebook and whatnot. And this uh, Fire HD 10 is exactly that. Maybe to pull the suction cup off the window gently. Uh, yeah, for the driving cam. I know that you're talking about the driving cam three minutes ago and that I just looked at that message. But we'll take a quick Take a quick break. Take a quick break. Uh, this suction cup. I mean, this suction cup does. I've never opened this bag, but that suction cup does have the uh, the little thing. Yeah. You just pull on this. Pull on this piece. Once you have this suction cup to your 
windshield uh, and it's hanging the camera off it. Very easy too, by the way, you just slot it into place. Very easy to slot into place and you can turn it all over the place. It's very easy to manipulate this. But yeah, Justin, it just has the little like, uh, I don't know, I just call it like a little nipple. I'm not sure what you refer to it as, a little pull tab. But yeah, it's got a little pull tab on it and you can pull it to let that air out. Really easy to mount and unmount from your windshield. Um, thank you for bringing that to my attention. I'm sorry I didn't address it uh, a few minutes ago. But yeah, really easy, really light. This ain't going to like, you're going to hit some bumps. This big suction cup's going to hold on to your windshield, and this ain't going to fall off. But let's get back to the it, the tablet for a second, okay? <laughs> That's a cool camera. That Trent M is the dash cam by S-Tong, and I've got it. I'll highlight it for you right here, right now. It's highlighted in my carousel. So if you'd like to learn more about it, because we've moved on to the Kindle 10, and I'm going to talk about the dash cam another time, but you can learn everything that you'd like to learn about it by clicking through right now. Add it to your cart. It's 10% uh, off today at 45 bucks. Uh, yeah, so we're talking about the Fire HD 10 tablet. Uh, William Jeffrey just started following. William, yo, take a look. Thank you for following, number one, okay? Number two, take a look at the bottom of the screen right now, okay? Scrolling by the bottom of the screen, you can see that we are hosting a giveaway here. Uh, it's 927, so I was supposed to be done a half an hour ago. I just can't do five minutes of product, you guys. I can't do it. I cannot do it. Physically incapable of not talking about everything for an extended period of time, okay? Uh, but, yeah, William Jeffrey, if you're new here, uh, thanks for the follow like you're showing here. And also consider going to the website, scrolling at the bottom of the screen here. We're doing a giveaway for a $5 Amazon gift card. We're going to do that at the end of the show here. And um, yeah, go to the website, enter the form, and then come back here when we do the race. And if you're the winner, then uh, if you filled out the form, you'll be confirmed to win. And we'll have Justin send you that $5 right away. Okay. Robin Luker, welcome. No, welcome you, Robin Luker. Welcome. Welcome to Shopping Dragons. Okay. You're watching Clown Live with me. Dragon Blaker, a.k.a. Blake. And uh, we were just talking about the Fire HD 10 tablet, the 10.1-inch version. These are 50% off right now. How could you not buy yourself or an older person who doesn't have a firm grasp of technology or the same thing that applies potentially to a younger child? These are good. This is going to take care of that. The Fire HD 10 tablet, uh, uh, the Fire HD 10 tablet that I'm holding now is going to come with three gigabytes of RAM in it and a plastic backing. Don't ask me about the processor speed. I don't know. I don't know what the processor speed is. But I can tell you this, that this is the Fire HD 10, and they make the Fire HD 10 Plus, Fire Plus. There's so many words to remember. But the Plus version of the Fire HD 10, okay, that's going to be um, – that's going to be – having one extra gigabyte of RAM in it, uh, so bumping it up to four gigs of RAM. And in addition to that, it's going to have uh, a nice metal background, which is a little more, uh, a nice metal backing, excuse me, which is a little more durable than the plastic backing on the traditional Fire HD 10 tablet. But, uh, you know, what is the trade-off for that? Protection maybe, but also weight. It's going to be a little lighter if you have the plastic uh, back and the three gigs of RAM. I mean, the RAM isn't going to make a difference in weight, but that metal backing on this Kindle Fire HD 10 definitely will. So if you get yourself an HD 10 and it's not what you think, uh, you know, uh, maybe you're, maybe you buy this tablet and you're feeling a little restricted. There are ways around that. You can go into the settings and enable an option to download third-party apps. And then you can literally sideload the Google Play. You can download and, and install the Google Play Store onto this tablet. And once you do that, it really truly unlocks all of like the features that the tablet has. Like what I mean by that is you are restricted with the Amazon App Store. Not all of the apps are designed to run on this Android device. But once you get that Play Store installed, uh, like so many more options become available to you. Now, it doesn't do everything. There are also some restrictions with the Google Play Store, but uh, you can get a lot more functionality out of the device by getting the Google Play Store installed on your Android. Uh, I mean, excuse me, on your Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. 
10.1 inch screen. Now, listen, like I said, this is 75 bucks today. It's 50% off from its traditional $150 price point. And let me tell you something else. If $75 is too much for a tablet for you that's made in 2021 or 2022, uh, whichever model this is, they have refurbs. They make these tablets that are refurbished and you can get them even cheaper than the 50% discount that this is being offered at today. So if saving money is your game, uh, you're saving $75 by buying this for 75 bucks today, but you can save like another, I don't know, 10 or 15 bucks by getting you the refurb, um, by getting you the refurb. Okay. That's the HD, uh, that's the fire HD 10 tablet. Boom. What do we got next? Fire Stick TV. This is an easy one, too. Here's the Fire Stick TV. Where are we at? Let me just dump all this out of this box like I just got it. Look. Everything. Everything in the Fire Stick box that you need. Today, it is $25. That is also 50% off. These deals must be enacted because of uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday that's coming up next week. So deals galore. Deals galore. You're going to get the fire stick. Okay. The fire stick is just this by itself. Uh, you're going to plug it into your HDMI port in your television, but you might want to be mindful that the HD um, plug, while well, standard coming out of this port, the fire stick itself is a bit wider than your standard HDMI port. So when you plug it into your TV, for example, you might be blocking adjacent ports. Uh, due to the sheer size of the fire stick, but that's okay because included in the box is this little adapter that has a smaller footnote than the uh, than the fire stick itself. So you can plug your fire stick into the adapter. Then you can plug the adapter into your television. Pretty good, strong dongle. It's not like it's not going to put too much weight on it. You have USB uh, for data transfer. I assume it comes with the cable. It comes. Uh, I guess if you want to power it, I suppose if you want to power it, I haven't hooked my fire stick up yet. I haven't used it yet. Uh, I want to, you know what? I'm a little put off. Look, let me be honest again. Let me be honest again right here real quick with you. Okay. Um, the device, the device is, seems great. Looks great. I've seen people use them. They look really great. Uh, like on your television, when you have them plugged in, they support things like Netflix and Paramount Plus, obviously Prime Video, YouTube, Hulu, Discovery Plus, Disney Plus. You know, Tubi is a great streaming service, which is absolutely free. So you can buy this Fire Stick for 25 bucks, plug it into your TV, hook it up to your Wi-Fi, and just start watching movies on Tubi. And even just that in itself is a great thing for some quick movies. But uh, the Fire Stick is excellent because you can mirror your tablet to the stick. So you can mirror what you see on your on your uh, Fire tablet right onto your television. That's why I bought my Fire Stick. But uh, my wife, she likes looking at the tablet, so we haven't had the uh, we haven't had to facilitate the necessity yet of hooking up the Fire Stick. But I'm glad that I went and bought it. I'm excited to use it. And uh, I think also what I was going to say was that. Um, the Fire Stick is running by Wi-Fi, and uh, and uh, I think that that could have some potential to slow down your mirroring capabilities. Uh, but the workaround for that is get a Fire Cube, and uh, I want to get a Fire Cube. Honestly, I didn't know about the Fire Cubes until after I bought the Fire Stick. And the benefit to the Fire Cube compared to the Stick is that it's twice as fast, at least. And it's got like a Ethernet port on it, so you can hardwire your internet right to the Fire Stick. But if that's uh, to your Fire Cube, but if that's not what you're looking for, this Fire Stick is great. It's going to turn any dumb TV into a smart TV. Uh, you just plug it in. I got some old TV in my camper that has like an old 720p LG. It has no smart capabilities whatsoever, and I've got a really old, slow Android box plugged into it that barely works. It barely works, and uh, and yeah, so really I kind of bought this to, like I said, mirror my wife's tablet to the TV, but also I bought this so that we could have like some good TV out in the camper. So I'm excited again to demo this for you in the future. Not much in the box. You're going to get the Fire Stick. You're going to get the adapter. And uh, you're going to get the USB cable with some batteries for your remote control. 
and the remote control has just your standard playback options as well as some uh as well as some uh uh, proprietary buttons on your remote. So what do we see? Prime Video, Disney Plus, Netflix, and Hulu. Uh, and since they have those brands on the buttons, I'm not sure if you can remap them or not. Uh, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know about that. But another great product from Amazon that I'm excited to try uh, soon enough for you guys. I really just want to go hang out in the camper, but it's too cold right now for all of that to be outside hanging out in the camper. My camper... Uh, my camper's older, you know, so it doesn't have heat in it. And uh, so, like, hanging out there when it's cold is not the move. That's not the move. That's the Fire Stick. That's the Fire TV Stick 4K, 4K version. You're going to get 4K resolution uh, through that stick when applicable on your 4K monitor, if applicable, okay? I just wanted to make sure that I put that out there as well. Hey, Blake and Justin, says Jennifer Lude three minutes ago. Well, hey to you, Jennifer Lude. Congratulations on winning a $5 gift card from Amazon.com uh, on Tuesday here on uh, Shopping Dragons Clown Live. Appreciate you coming out and showing that support. But uh, I want to keep it moving. Here's the next thing that I've been burning all day. Well, not all day. I'm going to drop this thing. Man, am I going to drop this thing. Hey, how's that look? Pretty good. Yeah, okay. Can we pull this over here a bit? Yes, we can. Okay. Bang, bang. This is going to be the Honeywell uh, humidifier that I have. This thing is so good. Uh, bang, bang, bang. Okay. This is my Honeywell humidifier. And let me tell you something. How long have we been streaming? It's 930. I plugged this in right before we went live at seven o'clock. So this uh, Honeywell humidifier is a great device to add moisture into any dry air environment. Uh, and so I wanted to tell you about how this tank has a gallon. It holds a gallon of water. And it has two speeds. You can turn it all the way off or you can turn it on one for mist or you can turn it on two for a higher mist output. Um, this thing is great for adding humidity. I was drying some, I was I like for horticulture stuff, the same reason I bought the pluggable micro, uh, magnifier, I bought this to add humidity to a room where I was um, like uh, curing some plants that we were like that we were uh, growing and that we wanted to preserve. So uh, it was really dry in that room and putting this in there really helped with that. But that's not necessarily what this is designed to do to help you uh, slow down the curing of plant material. It's really designed, like I said, to add moisture uh, to dry air. And uh, it has this little kind of... Uh, it has this little cup on the top of it that uh, you can put essential oils right inside that little centerpiece. And then the heat from the mist is going to, uh, you know, fill your room with essential oil scent, which is nice. I've been using this, like I said, for helping. Oh, did I remove it? Add solo. Yeah. Table. This thing's awesome. Can you see? Uh, I got the fan blowing on me, so maybe it's kind of hard to see the mist coming out of it. So it doesn't shoot out big, big pieces of mist, but like even – oh, you still can't – okay. Even like out here when the fan's not blowing on me, which it is right now, now the fan's not blowing on me. Like I'm getting mist. I can see the mist about this high, even this high. So I, I can see it. I don't think it translates very well on the camera. But like I said, this is just a simple humidifier made by Honeywell. It has two options. It's filterless in its operation. So when you fill this one-gallon tank, let me turn this off. When you fill this one-gallon tank, it's easy to fill. It's easy to fill the tank. You just take it off the machine. It's held into place with gravity, and you just twist this top off. Right? 
twist your top off and uh, fill it with water for bang. Twist your top off, fill it with tap water, put your top back on it. Extremely, extremely easy. And this top, actually, hold on. The top is cool because it has a rubber seal on the top to prevent the water from the inside of the tank coming out. And then it has a spring loaded button action on the other side. So you can see when you load the tank that the spring goes up and it lets the water into, again, the filterless uh, humidifier. Now, what's great, I think, about this being a filterless humidifier is that uh, it's so easy to clean, it's easy to maintain, uh, and it's easy to put your, uh, which way are we going, this way? I'm just a little, I'm doing it backwards, so I'm a little confused backwards. So look at this, no leak, no leak design, right? No water's coming out of that until you drop it simply into your device. And then you turn it back on, it's going to produce that mist like you want it to, Really great, really great functionality. Now, all of this piece comes off. There's a little switch that you pull on the inside to remove all of this to get down to the boiler core, uh, which can scale up like with, with um, like it scales up with calcium and other deposits that are left behind, excuse me, by your water. Uh, so yeah, so super easy to clean is what I'm saying here. You can pull all this piece off and then inside of here, there's a couple of plastic pieces. Now I'm running this device, so I'm not going to open it for you today, but you can really just pull it apart. All the plastic on the Honeywell is, uh, on the Honeywell humidifier is dishwasher safe. I believe, I think I've read dishwasher safe on these parts when I pulled it apart myself the other day. And uh, yeah, you pull the essential oil lid out. You can pull this, uh, I guess, exhaust. I don't know what you would call it out. Pull this chamber out. And then inside the chamber, there's a couple other plastic parts that easily pull apart. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I see my neighbor outside on my security cameras. Uh, yeah, so super great. Essential oil cup, easy to clean, dishwasher safe, filterless design. Fill it with tap water. Turn it on. Get your air get your chapped lips smooth, get your dry nose feeling better. You can put this in your room at night when you're sleeping. That is a great, great function for it just to help not be so dry. If you live in an area, if you live in an apartment building or you live in a place that has like those big old rads that are again, just drying out the air, this is going to help with that. It covers a pretty big uh, space. I think I, I I might be misinformed. Okay. But I believe that it covers uh, about 300 square feet. No, I don't want to do a gesture covers about 300 square feet, maybe a little less. Um, and I think that information may be, uh, available to you. If you click through the, uh, carousel and add this to your cart, <clears throat> I love this. This is another product that I bought a couple years ago. And when I started doing the streaming here on Shopping Dragons, I'm like, what things do I even own that are on Amazon? And I've been finding a lot of great stuff that I own, that I've owned for a long time, that again is on Amazon. And that's why I'm happy to show this to you now. It's just a good quality product. I haven't had any problems with it. I've been using it since at least 2019. You just want to make sure that when the time is right, you open it and clean it because you don't want all that scaling to build up. Uh, it's just going to like uh, potentially degrade the quality of the like uh, element. You know what I mean? So just keep it clean. Great product. Honeywell, what do they call it? Uh, yeah, they just call it a model number. I'm not going to say the, the model number. But uh, this is the Honeywell humidifier, another great product uh, for me to show you here today on Clown Live. Okay, let's move this one slowly out of the way. Is it, oh, oh, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Look at this, look at this. Okay, so I said it was a gallon of water. I said, it, oh, two things. One, this is good for 24 hours a day operation. You can run this all day, every day, but you have to make sure that the water is always topped off, which brings me to my next point. I filled this before the show up here. It's a one gallon container. And now we are here. We're here. So what did I burn? About half of it. I burned about maybe two liters, about half a gallon of water since 7 p.m. 
So, and it's almost 10. Jeez Louise. Okay. It's almost 10, but, uh, Hey, cool shopper. What's up? Uh, just stopping in to say hi. Hey, we're going to look at my carousel and determine how many products we have left uh, cool shopper, because as soon as we're done that we're going to go sit down at the desk and do a $5 clown race. Okay. Uh, but this is the Honeywell humidifier. Uh, moisten up your dry air already. Would you, would you, you could do that today with this click through the carousel and add it to your cart. Let me carefully move this water log device out of the way. So yeah, so if I started at six and it's 10, that's three hours and I did half a thing. So six hours. So if you were to run it 24 seven, I guess you would fill it maybe like about four times a day. Uh, and I did, I, I ran mine for like 24 hours a day. So I was always in there making sure that the water was filled in it. Great, 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 great for adding humidity to uh, dry air. Hi, cool shopper. Hi, Victoria and Jennifer. Hey, Boston Butterfly. I hope that you're having a great day. Hey, have y'all won anything today? Did y'all win anything today? What'd you win? I've been so busy setting up the show. I didn't get an opportunity to play too many games, but, uh, I won some stuff. I won some stuff the other day. I won some, uh, I won some uh, masks. I won some N95 masks on David's stream last night. And also I won two twice last night. I won, uh, but it was after midnight. So technically today I won a nice uh, wise scale on Lorna's stream too. So uh, go out there, win you some stuff. Tell me what you won if you won anything. I love knowing what y'all won. And uh, that's it for the humidifier. So let's move on to the last, ooh, only three products. And we're going to unbox a product and we'll unbox that product last. So next, we're going to take a look at these superior glass round uh, food storage containers uh, made by Fine Dine. Gaboosh, gadoosh. These are them. Here's the table button. These are three 32-ounce glass food storage containers put out by Fine Dine. I won these from the Bullseye Ladies. Very, very, very generous of them to uh, let me participate in their game and win these. And I'll tell you, since I've got them in my possession, I've been nothing but completely satisfied. These glass food storage containers have been uh, essential to our kitchen since we've obtained uh, obtained them, excuse me. And we just now recently started deciding to get rid of some unnecessary plastic containers just to make room for more things that these great containers replace. Let me turn them this way so you can get a real feel for it. We'll do it like that, okay? Uh, we'll do it like this, okay? Uh, yeah, so, so the fine dine glass food storage containers, they got plastic lids. With four hinges, they're easy to take the lids off. They're made out of a good, thick glass. Uh, it's not listed as Pyrex glass, but they do say that you can take it from freezer to oven to table. So it has an easy lock. Um, it has this easy lock hinged mechanism, like I was explaining to you. Easy to put it down. And then also, it comes with this rubber gasket. Do these pull out? Oh, they do. See? Here's another thing that I never did before. I thought that these gaskets... We're permanent in the lids, but they're not. Can we put the lid on without the gasket? Can we put the lid on without the gasket? I mean, yeah, you can, but it's loose. You probably wouldn't want to put it on without the gasket. But what's cool about the gasket is that once it's properly installed, let me just properly install this here really quickly. <clears throat> Once I get this gasket reinstalled on this uh, on this plastic lid, I'm going to show you that the fine dine um, glass food storage containers are leak proof, really excellent leak proof. Now, it was really super simple for me to just go ahead and 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 put the uh, gasket back into the lid. It just pushes into place. There's no form for it. It's I guess a silicone. Uh, so yeah, you just put it on and close it. Let me get some water here. Water, my nemesis. I hate water so much. <laughs> I do dislike water. I spilled water all over my table tonight, and that made me really upset. Okay, so these are the glass food storage containers that are watertight. All I have to demo you is a little bit of water today. But uh, once we put these uh, hinged lids on, very easy to put on. Just want to ensure. See, look, see, I was going to do the demo. And look, I don't have this lid on securely. 
I don't have this lid on securely. And it felt like I didn't put it on securely. And water literally just leaked out of it because I didn't put the lid on securely. So you want to make sure that your lid is on very securely before you lock down your hinges. And now these ones definitely, I feel confident, are leak proof. But I took the gasket out of this and just put it back in. So let's see. Is this, is this still leak proof right now? I, it should be. I think the water that just came off of it was just water that was on the exterior of the uh, of the food dish storage. Because if it was really leaking, I think it would be coming out pretty steadily, right? So you know, good water, good watertight uh, gasket around this entire uh, food storage container. And if you click through the carousel and take a look at these glass food storage containers by Fine Dine right now, you'll see that uh, it's not just. Uh, You'll see that they're not just these three 32-ounce packs, uh, containers. They come in a medley of different shapes and sizes uh, so that you can really um, accent your kitchen with the type of storage that you need. Uh, and again, and in summation, the Fine Dine Glass Food Storage 3-pack of 32 ounces. 32 ounces is like a liter, right? A 1,000 milliliters. 1,040 milliliters. So just over a liter uh, or AKA just over a quarter gallon you can put into one of these. Uh, and we use them all the time. Now, you everything is dishwasher safe, but don't put, obviously, like don't put your plastic lid in the oven, okay? When you uh, take them from your freezer and put them in your oven, make sure you take the plastic lid off, but everything is really easy to pull apart. Gaskets come out and makes it easy to clean these grooves if you get food in there. And also um, uh, easy to clean, um, aesthetically pleasing, watertight. And what else did I want to say about them? Comes in all different shapes and sizes. Well, mostly square and long. That's it. That's it. The show's getting close to done. We just got a couple more things. So that's all I feel like saying about the fine dine glass food storage containers. Today, they're $13.65. So for less than 15 bucks, you can have all this. You know what I mean? Sitting in your fridge, sitting uh, wherever you need. You can put candy in it. You can, It's a dish. You know what I mean? You can put whatever you want in it. So enough ado. Enough ado about the fine dine uh, glass storage containers. Uh, put these in your carousel, uh, excuse me, click through my carousel, okay, and put these in your cart and uh, be ready to feel extreme satisfaction uh, when you own these fine dine glass food storage containers. My table's not clean anymore. Everything's all over the place. My poor wet table. Okay, I think we're done. No, we got two things. Okay, we're not done. I, I knew we had two things. Okay, let's do the last thing in my carousel real quick because this is going to be easy. Quick, 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 quick unboxing. And then we're going to do another unboxing. And then we're going to give away the card. Okay, let's, uh, what, what are we looking at? Let's look at this. And now we're going to take a look at these 10 reusable silicone straws that are put out, I guess, by Flathead. Let's just open it. When you buy the thing, when you buy this, look, I'm unboxing this with you right now. When you buy these reusable silicone straws, you're going to get 10 of them in the pack. It's going to come with a brush to clean them. That's right here. And then it also comes with a bag. So let's just open this up real quick and uh, see how these straws, do these, do they smell? Do they smell? I mean, it has the smallest, smallest, smallest scent that I had to really deeply inhale to smell it. So you're not going to get a lot of like disgusting scents or odors when you first buy this product. And Flathead says, thank you. Flathead Products believes making the world and, uh, excuse me, Flathead Products believes making the world a better place starts with making your home a better place. We strive to deliver high quality products with an eco-conscious design and sustainable protection. We're passionate about leaving the world better than we found it. And we hope your world is a little nicer too. What's the link for the giveaway, Evans? It's scrolling right here down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, it says right here, shoppingdragons.com slash win 
go there and enter. And if you've already entered that form, there's no need for you to enter it again. We, uh, we don't purge the form and, uh, we're going to do a clown race at the end of the show. And, uh, and we'll determine a winner, and then I'll reach out to Justin with the winner information, and he'll hook you up with the card. But yeah, Flathead was saying uh, they hope that our world is a little nicer. We're serious about customer service. If you don't love your purchase, we'll make it right. So definitely Flathead looks like they are interested in creating a good customer uh, experience for you. Look at these products. Look at these straws. You know, they shake. They're bendable. I'm going to squeeze them i don't think they're gonna break these are mine now so i can do whatever i want look i'm gonna pinch that really hard crease it i'm kinking it and it's just gonna revert to its original size let's dump some water in a cup now listen i definitely recommend that you will clean these products before you use them okay whenever you buy something Oh my goodness, these buttons today. Whenever you buy something from a store, you should definitely clean it. So do as I say and not as I do. But we're going to take a look at these silicone straws together right now. Uh, before we do suck water out of one of them, you're going to get a nice little bag. It says flathead on it. Uh, it's got a little drawstring pouch. So that's pretty cool that they give you an opportunity to put all these things in one spot and not get them lost. I'm grab a big handful of silicone straws, pop them in this bag real quick. Shebang, shebang. And they fit in there really good. They, oh, uh, up here. They fit in there really good. Uh, they're all the way at the bottom of the bag, and that's how much space uh, is above my finger, you know? You know, so you get a lot of space, everything to fit. Since shut, simple bag, open it up. And it feels like a, like a nylon bag. Like, if you get it wet, it's not going to, like, be like this tablecloth that I have today. Now, another interesting thing about these silicone straws is it's just silicone, right? So if you wanted to, you could totally uh, cut these to size. You can cut these with a pair of scissors if you want. And uh, they do have a natural bend in them. They got a natural bend and also they've got a tapered edge so that you don't get a suction at the bottom of your cup. Let's test these. Let's test these. Let's test these. Let's test the straw. Let's let's do a straw demo right now. Y'all think I suck? You haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> uh, let's do, I guess this is like, what do we got? We got a dark purple one. We got like an aquamarine one, pink, kind of like a dull blue and uh, white. So you're going to get uh, five, five different colors times two. So you're going to get the 10 straws and uh, let's test them. Let's test the uh, purple one. This is my skull cup, also available on Amazon. I'll talk to you about it maybe in another stream. Boom. Goes right in the thing. Do as I say, not as I do. Wash your product before you use it. This is just for a quick demo out of the unboxing. I'm sure I'm not going to get sick, okay? Uh, cheers, everybody. It's a good straw. Feels a little thick in my mouth, but... Uh, that thickness is just going to um, uh, really accentuate how durable the straw is. You know what I mean? So not only is it thick and rugged, but you can also, like I said, you can bend them. You can kink them. They're not going to break. If you want, you can cut them to a different size. You can cut the tapered edge off if you want. It's really just a silicon tube that is a straw that helps you drink things. You know what I'm saying? So there's not much else to say about the straw. So that's it. That's the flat head. A uh, ten pack of reusable silicone things, and then look. Let's uh, let's just do one more quick demo, and uh, let's push this little. Oh, up here, we're gonna take this little pipe cleaner that is included, and uh, we're gonna clean out our. Oh yeah, this fits perfectly. Let me cut to this camera. Like obviously, you know what I'm saying. But this little this little pipe cleaner is made for these pipes. Like it just fits perfectly. And uh, I can put the whole thing almost all the way in. I can almost, almost see it. You won't be able to, but I've put the, uh, I put the pipe cleaner all the way in and it almost goes all the way through, almost goes all the way through. So you definitely want to be sure when you're cleaning these products to clean them from both sides. Um, and yeah, like what else can I say about a straw? Great little product. 
it's uh, 12 bucks today. It's 11.50 today, which is 12% off from its regular asking price of $13.03. So for so for a little more than uh, what is that? A dollar, a dollar ten, a dollar, a a dollar and a penny and a half, right? That makes 11.50. So for a dollar a straw, they're in, infinitely reusable. They're really thick. I don't think that they're gonna like get any wear marks on them uh, from overuse. And uh, yeah, flathead products, reusable 10 pack of silicone straws with a drawstring tote. Good for picnics, good for camping, good for any, anything that you want to suck drinks out of uh, at. If you're at a place you want to suck drinks out of that place, get yourself a silicone straw. I'm going to keep my 10th straw out and continue to use it here. Okay, we are done. We're going to do one last product here, an unboxing. It's not like I've spent not enough time with you all today. But we're going to unbox real quick uh, the final product in my carousel. And then we're going to go sit down at the uh, computer and do a roll call. We'll do a roll call and then we'll do a clown race, okay? Okay, let's go wide. And let's highlight the last product in my carousel that I want to show you today, which is the uh, Master Maison Supreme Series knife set boom excited to unbox this with you right here right now what do we do at the headshot no table shot table shots a little better okay yo this is the uh maison mat uh, excuse me what is it the master maison this is the master maison 11 piece premium chef knife set right so let's open this up i want to get this show done once again mima's gonna be home Dude, I'm doing four hours when I'm supposed to do two hours. I don't like it. I don't like it. I can't stop talking about these great products. I wish I could. I wish I could just do five minutes of product, but I can't do it, man. I don't know why. I don't know what is wrong with me. Uh, okay, you're going to get your cutting block. You're going to get your, your holding block. You're going to get a box with some knives in it. Uh, what else do we got here? It looks like we got some instructions. And some other paperwork. And just some packing. Okay, let's put the box here. Let's get rid of this packing. Um, let's pull this down. We'll deal with the moisture. It's almost dry. <laughs> it's almost dry, he says. Uh, okay, so we got the chopping block, which is not a chopping block. It's just a block for the knife block for holding your product. Bang. Maison Master. Bang. Uh, okay, let's put all the instructions away. And let's open up this 11 piece. It's going to be 12 pieces in here. They always include the... Uh, I got another knife set here, actually. That I'm going to pull a steak knife out of. Okay, initial impression seems like your standard kind of like kitchen fare. Everything's wrapped up. So, uh, okay, knife. Oh, look at this. Okay, so you pull the cardboard off your knife. Where are we at? Are we at table? We're at table. So look at this. You pull the, you open your cardboard box. You're going to have all your knives in it. Let's just dump the knives out because we're going to populate this thing real quick. Uh, every knife is going to have a cardboard on it inside the box to protect you, which is really good. And then when you pull the cardboard off, the knife's wrapped in plastic. And then every knife, when you unbox it, is going to have a little point guard on it, which is really great. Uh, so let's just get this populated. Um, what kind of knives do we get in here? Well, we get to have an 8-inch chef knife, an 8-inch carving knife, an 8-inch bread knife. Uh, also, we're going to get a 5-inch utility knife. And then we're going to get four 4.5-inch four steak knives. And that's what I think we're pulling out right now are these little steak knives and uh, you can differentiate. It looks like in a color coordinated way, uh, the steak knives to the other knives as all of these other knives tend to be um, coated. Look, look at this. Okay. The steak knives are white. The steak knives are white. Okay. And then uh, whatever knife this is, the pairing knife, it's in Brown. And then this uh, utility knife is also uh, wrapped in a, in a, in a Brown cardboard. So really easy to know what knives you're pulling out, even if it's not visually, uh, like if you don't understand uh, what you're looking at for knives, you know what I'm saying? 
I'll tell you what, I don't know what I'm saying right now as I'm unboxing these steak knives and populating this little uh, block, but really nice. Let's see if they're, if they're sharp or not. Oh yeah, they feel sharp. So look, maybe I was wrong with my color coordination because one of my steak knives, not a steak knife. That's probably the uh, utility knife. So we'll put that in there. Let's turn it around, face it this way. And is this the other steak knife? No, I don't think so. This is going to be the steak knife because they'll have the same end. See, it's got a similar, it has the same end as all the other knives. So we populate our steak knife area. And then what do we got here? We're going to have a three and a half inch paring knife. Feels good. It feels weighted in my hand. It doesn't feel like light. I got another, is this paring knife? <clears throat> here's a here's a paring knife that I have in my regular set. And here's the paring knife that comes with the house maison. It's going to be uh, similar in size, similar in size. It's going to be a three and a half inch um, uh, paring knife, I guess. Uh, or is this the utility knife? Is there a smaller one? One, two, three. One, two, three. No. No, this is going to be the small three and a half inch paring knife. And uh, even though these are the exact same looking in stature like my kitchen one that i use regularly is very very light this has some heft to it it's definitely got a little more weight than what this one does i'm gonna have to break out my uh i'm gonna have to break out a scale so that we can weigh some stuff but not today not today okay let's finish unboxing these knives and then go sit down and give away some money okay so you're gonna get a bread knife in this box bang good to cut your baguette you know what i'm saying let's put that in here and what else do we got? You're going to have your eight inch uh, chef knife, nice big chef knife. And uh, out of the box, eh, pretty sharp, pretty sharp. Let's see this. I mean, that's, that's pretty sharp. That's pretty sharp. That's a pretty sharp knife. So uh, that's going to be your eight inch chef knife. And then the final piece that I have to open up here is going to be your carving knife. Now, that is a nice carving knife. That is a big, good ergonomic handle. Uh, it feels weighted just like all these steak knives. And honestly, I'm so glad to have this. I'm so glad to have this set. <laughs> I'm so glad to have this set. It feels like a higher quality, a little more premium than the kitchen set that I've got. Also, it looks like the block has a sharpening stone on it. So that is also a big help. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the uh, Maison Master Supreme Series 11-piece uh, kitchen cutlery unit. All right. And uh, bang. Um, table? Yeah, table's good. So this is the Supreme Series uh, Maison uh, Master Maison Supreme Series it's the sharpest set in the Master Maison family. So today, this 11-piece set is $57.99 down from regular $68.84. That's 16% off. Uh, again, another great gift idea, practical to buy for yourself for your own home use. That's what we're going to be using this one for here. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, what else can I say to you about a set of chef's knives? They're very sharp. I demoed that by cutting the cardboard. I unboxed this whole piece for you. And I think we're done. I think we're done. Oh, man, what a show. I still am not doing five minutes per product. It's not a shameful thing. It's not a shameful thing. It's just a goal that I have. I just have this goal. We're done with the products. Show's over. We're going to do the gift card giveaway in, in, when I'm ready here in just a little bit. But products are over. It's just time for the giveaway now. And you know what? Let's uh, let's start the roll call now while I'm standing up. And uh, y'all can start doing the roll call. But I still have to take time to go sit here in front of the computer to execute the race and populate the list. So the roll call today is... Uh, the roll call today is uh, going to be, you have to be faster next time, Blake. You have to be faster next time, Blake, okay? Five minutes per product, 20 products in two hours. That's the goal. You have to be faster 
next time, Blake. Okay, that's the roll call today. Tell me that I have to be faster next time. I really want to get this thing popping off so that it is two hours for 20 products. I just have so much. Uh, I have such a great time standing here talking to y'all about all these things. Uh, I, I truly do. So I don't mind going for four hours, but uh, I do have a goal like that is three hours. Uh, excuse me, two hours. So, uh, yeah, I see uh, nobody in the chat at this moment, but uh, we are going to get ready to do the thing where we do the gift card giveaway. So tell me that I have to be net faster next time. Be faster next time, Blake. That's today's roll call for your $5 gift card giveaway. So why don't you all go ahead and start getting that. Um, yeah, that's right, Richard. You do have to. I do have to be faster next time. Go ahead and start doing that roll call in the chat. I'm going to play a little music boy here and try, I'm going to play my intro, my audio intro, and I'm just going to try to go get my show set up so that we can set up the race. And, uh, Hey Richard, I see you out here. If you don't mind, I could sure use a list to save me from having to manually type all of the names myself. So if you have the ability to facilitate that for me, I would be very grateful. And if you can't, I'm just going to take care of it myself here. Thank you for telling me. Good job, Richard. Uh, everybody keep telling me that I have to be faster next time. And I'm going to play a little minute and a half audio clip here. And uh, I'm going to try to rush to go get my uh, chair set up so that we can do the race. Okay. I'll be with you in just a few moments. I'm going to mute my microphone and handle some business now. What's up, everybody? I hope you can hear me now. Maybe I didn't mute my microphone while I was playing that song, but it's all good. Here we are sitting at the desk, <clears throat> and uh, we are done with one camera, so let me just remove that. Let me re-add this camera for a second. Go like this. Let me leave this. Yes. Yes. If I disappear, I'll be right back.
Hey, I'm very confident that you can hear me now because I can see my audio levels going. I wasn't saying too much a moment ago, except for that I was thanking Richard very kindly for making that uh, list for me while I get this clown race set up. If you're just joining us right now and uh, you haven't done the roll call yet, uh, yeah, let Richard know if he missed you. Just say you got to be faster next time, Blake. That's today's roll call. The goal is to get, you know... Um, 20 products in two hours and I'm doing it in like three hours. So I gotta, I gotta talk less and show more. Okay. Let me scroll up here though, real quick. And uh, I'm going to grab this list. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it into my notepad and then uh, I'm going to open up a clown race real quick here. Didn't have that set up for the show. Bang. Yes. Bang, 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 bang. I think that's right. I think that's what I want to show you all. Scroll down here. Um, Blake, you missed mine. Margaret, just tell me that I got to be faster next time. You got to move fast. I see Alyssa. I'm going to add Margaret here. I'm going to show you all guys the list before we populate the game. Uh, I'm just getting it all ready right now. Evans, I see you on the list above William Jeffrey, but I'm going to show you all the list in just a moment. Let me go here and share my screen with you all with some audio. Bang. Boom. Okay, yo, this is what we're going to do right now. Uh, this is everybody's name that I have for the list. I'm going to read all these names out. Uh, you can say here or not. don't matter. But uh, I'm going to read all these names out right now. And if you're not here, uh, tell me that I got to be faster next time. That's the roll call today. You have to be faster, Blake, or next time, whatever it is. As long as you got faster in there, I'm going to know. Richard's helping me populate that list. And this is the whole list that we got right now. We've got Richard on the list. We've got Victoria Diaz, Lori B, Woolrich, Hefe, Stargazer, Randy Dresden, Samantha Guvaro. Guevaro, Samantha Guevaro, Boston Butterflies is in the chat um, on this list today. Jennifer Lude is here. Good luck, Jennifer. Evans is here. William Jeffrey, Bart, Alyssa, and Margaret. These are all the names that I see now. Let me pop over to my Amazon chat and see if anybody else needs to be in here with us today. And uh, I got you, Evans. Need to add Margaret. I did add Margaret. Uh, did you get me, April? I didn't get you. Say your roll call. Tell me that I have to be faster next time, April. Uh, Evans is here. I'm back. Debbie, I'm back. Yo, you're just in time. Debbie, Debbie, in the chat, Debbie, today, say, Blake, you have to be faster, okay? You have to be faster next time, Blake. Anything that encourages me to be faster right now, I want to add you to the list. April, I see you here on the list. Richard, I don't think that I need any further assistance creating a huge list. So we're just going to add a couple names here, A-P-R-I-L. We got April's name. And uh, I'm going to give Debbie just a second. I really want Debbie to enter my giveaway today. Boston Butterfly, I see you on the list. Uh, I hope Debbie. Uh, I hope Debbie tells me to be faster so I can add her to the game. You know she's so generous to all of us over on the We Allure stream, and um, and yeah, I would be like honestly, I love all you guys a lot, and I would really be ecstatic if Debbie like got the W. You know what I mean? Because she's been so nice to me. Everybody's so nice to me, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, Debbie, type Blake. You have to be faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll. Uh, is that underwear, Debbie? Yeah, it is, Lori B. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is the real Debbie. Uh, bang, 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 bang. Okay, boom. That's for you, Lori B. Uh, okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Blake. You have to be faster. Okay, Debbie. I'm gonna add you to the list. Okay. Here we go. I added you. Uh, let me uh, let me change that little typo there. And I think that's pretty it. I, I, I think that's pretty much it. We were just waiting for Debbie and nobody else called up. So I'm going to go ahead and put closed in the chat here, right here, right now. That's me, Blake, putting closed in the chat. Uh, Blake, you have to have double protection. Uh, Blake, you have to have double protection, right, Debbie? Yeah, well, we were talking about double layer protection earlier in today's stream when we were talking about the Anchor PowerConf C200. Did you know that that camera has a little uh, uh, switch on it that you can close the... Uh, oh, Bart, did we add you? Bart, you're already in there, homie. We got you. Oh, you need double layers. Sorry, I just... Okay, I got you. You um, you know what? I got you. Okay. Uh, 
but I was saying to you, um, uh, Lori B about double layer protection that the anchor power comp C 200, I'm going to light this up really quick in my, uh, in my carousel. And then we're going to do the giveaway. Uh, the anchor power comp. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. I got to do my carousel from my phone. Here we go. That anchor power comp C 200 today is only 60 bucks. Uh, that's 14% off from its regular sale of 70 bucks. And it's really cool because, um, it's really cool because it does offer you double layer protection of your privacy. When you close the, when you close the, the, the shutter for the lens, it also turns off the mics. So you get your camera goes into sleep mode and it mutes. So they don't see you. They don't hear you double layer protection, right? For you, uh, if you need it. Okay. But everybody's here to do this race. So let me highlight all these names right now. And then we click on names and then we edit the list and then we select all these names and delete them. Did I copy this? No, I didn't. Let me copy this list and paste it here. And then, uh, yeah, that's this list. It starts with Richard and ends in Debbie. And I'm going to read all the names one more time. And then we're going to smash this clown live double layer clown race. Okay. So we've got Richard, Victoria Diaz, Lori B, Woolrich, Hefe, Stargazer, Randy Dresden, Samantha Guevara, 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 Boston Butterfly, Jennifer Lude, Evans, William Jeffrey, Bart, Alyssa, Margaret, April, and Debbie. This is closed. I am not going to add your name if you're here now. And uh, let's hit done. We got 17 names in the list. And I think we had 17 names in the list on Tuesday as well. Uh, yo, there's an EcoFlow stream happening right now. And a, and a Ehi Siga stream. And a Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment stream. And an Exa stream. And Christy and Alex live. Okay, we got to do this race because I got to go get into these chats with all you guys. Edit list. No. Uh, okay, let's do what we always do. Uh, it doesn't matter about lag because the numbers are arbitrary. So the first person in the chat to pick a number between 20 and 60, we're going to run the race for 20 to 60 seconds. Okay. And then the next number, pick it between one and five. And that will be the amount of times we shuffle. As soon as I see those numbers pour in 45 seconds, uh, five seconds for the, uh, Five seconds, uh, five shuffles from William Jeffrey and 45 seconds for the race from Lori B. Let's do it. 45 second race set. And let's shuffle one, two, three, four, five times. This is it. This is the race right now. We're doing it. Let me switch over here and full screen this. Put me here. And that's it. This is it. Y'all ready? I can't see the chat now. Uh, yeah, I can. I'll just click over here to see the chat. Okay, we're going to go. Y'all ready? We're, we're ready in three. Oh, wait, where's the button to go? Start. Okay, three, two, one, go! Good luck, everybody. Oh, let me turn this way down. Uh, wow, Debbie, good luck. Yo, we got Evans in the lead, and coming up right behind Evans is Victoria Diaz. And then I see Richard not far off the heels of Victoria Diaz, but it looks like Samantha is gunning for that first place. Here comes Woolridge in the lead. We got Hefe in the back with Jennifer Lude and Randy. William Jeffrey, you gotta honk that horn. You gotta get those clown shoes moving. Alyssa, the same for you. Everybody's falling back, except for Boston Butterfly and Samantha. Who's it gonna be? We got nine seconds left. Who's gonna be the winner of this $5 Amazon gift card giveaway? And coming up from the back end, it looks like it might be Randy Dresden. And it is! Congratulations, Randy Dresden. You just won yourself a $5 Amazon gift card giveaway. Now that is depending on the fact that you did go to shoppingdragons.com slash win and enter there to uh, confirm your email and everything. Excuse me for one second. I'm so excited to eat dinner after this show. But yo, that is basically the show today. Randy Dresden, congratulations. I hope that you filled out your form over at shoppingdragons.com slash win. And uh, even if you haven't yet, you still can now because we don't close the form. So get over there. We 
need bigger clown shoes. Need clown shoes with wheels in them, Bart. Maybe that'll be helpful the next time. But yeah, congratulations to Randy at the clown tripped over his shoes. Uh, well, yeah, let's check the places. Let's check the places. Randy in first, Bart second, William third. Debbie came in fourth. Oh, Debbie. So close, so close. Uh, and then everybody else, excuse me, slotting in behind them. Man, first on first on Tuesday, 12th on Thursday, Jennifer. It's not a good, not a good gap. Not a good gap. But that's it, I think. I think we're done with this fun game. Let me uh, mute that and uh, full screen this. Close the clown race. I don't need it open anymore. Randy Dresden, you are the winner of the $5 Amazon gift card giveaway. I'm going to close this tab now. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. I don't want to show all my whole desk. Okay, so let me put this here. And we can stop sharing my screen. We're done the show. And that's it. That's it, y'all. Thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with me uh, on this uh, Shopping Dragons presentation clown live is what you're watching here and i'm gonna be back next tuesday to do i'm looking at my monitor but i want to look at you guys right here i'm gonna be back next tuesday at 7 p.m eastern standard time to uh do another show with y'all uh and next tuesday i'm gonna have more products that are new that have never been seen before in my carousel so stay tuned for that and uh, I think that's it. Like I said on Tuesday, I, I love making long goodbyes, but I want it to be done at 10 and it's near. I want it to be done at nine and it's 1030. So I love you all very much. Thank you all for your generous, ex, ex, uh, astounding, never ending support. I appreciate you all on levels that you don't even realize. Uh, I'm having a lot, a lot of fun here on Amazon Live with y'all. And that's it. I got to get out of here because I got to go hang out with you guys in the chat. I want to win some stuff too. So y'all have a great night. Enjoy your evening. Good luck to everybody. Win everything. Be generous. Love with your heart. Okay. And uh, I got to end Amazon first. So I got to do that over here. All right. So uh, that's it. We'll see you all on the next one. And I'll see you guys in the chats. Okay. Whoop, whoop.